have returned to Life is Strange before the storm. I'm loving this theme with this title screen. They're continuing on with their tradition of the, from the first game where the title screen will change according to what happened, but it was always a view of the lighthouse before, so there wouldn't be much change involved. This is an awesome image and very awe-inspiring awe -inspiring in terrible ways. I still cannot talk. Um, episodes. Oh, we can't even skip episodes. We have to go to... Why is Chloe wearing... I guess we'll get there. Okay, let's start episode two, shall we? Rachel, that's her name. I kept wanting to call her Amber, but I know that's her last name. There we Previously, go. on Life is Strange Before the Storm. I can't believe Firewalk is playing a show at the old mill. I'm gonna teach this little punk some manners. Hey! Dickhead! Get the fuck out of here! <laughs> Between your grades and your disregard for my rules, I see you slipping. I'm worried. We don't have to like each other, but you will respect me. Hello, Black Hell. Chloe, do something! Hey, do you know if Rachel is a gamer? How would you like to join me on a little field trip? Don't be surprised, Chloe, if one day I'm just out of here. Let me know if you need an accomplice. Damn, they are really going at it. You remember that guy that we saw under this tree with that woman? That was my dad. <laughs> and that woman was definitely not my mom. All right, let's see how this one carries on. Not the scene I thought we would start with. Hey, hey Slothy, thanks for that raid. How you doing? We just started, so. Miss Price. How good of you to join us. I'm so sorry we're late. My, my shift ran late at the diner and then... Just... Sorry. Let us proceed. One of you here is new to the Blackwell disciplinary process. And the other is all too familiar with it. Blackwell's code of conduct is built upon a foundation of mutual respect meant to foster an environment conducive to education and enrichment. When that respect okay. was violated... Reality check time. Yesterday did actually happen. Yes. I ditched school with Rachel Amber, and then Rachel really did start that fire. And that was after we actually agreed to run away from here. Right? Are you paying attention to me, Chloe? Um, what? <laughs> Miss Price, no. the last time we met, an agreement was brokered. Do you recall what that was? <sighs> we'll hold on to that thought, because she clearly doesn't remember. No hints whatsoever. No, don't let them proceed. It's a trap. <laughs> Hello, Lokito. How are you? <laughs> Good call. Doesn't... What? Cap. Hello! Okay, you're referring to Jedi, so I'm guessing that's Cal? Are you talking about... <laughs> you, did you play Fallen Order? Or have you been playing Fall of Order? 
Let's give you a shout out. Let's find out. <laughs> yeah, okay. Well, we're already halfway through there. Let's finish it up. There we go. He tried. <laughs> apparently he has... Um, Cal, I'm, I'm talking about here. Uh, apparently Cal doesn't like to climb. So... Don't expect that to change much as you go through the game. If what I heard is to believed. All good. You, I'm doing pretty good, thanks. Just starting episode two of this game. Um, so, did you just start tonight, Slothy? And aside from the lack of climbing, how are you liking it? All right, let's get on with the disciplinary. All right. Um... Oh, God, I don't know which one to pick. Um, don't screw up. Uh, don't get in trouble again? Trouble is merely the byproduct, Miss Price. What's at issue is your attitude. We agreed that you would rededicate yourself to becoming an exemplary Blackwell citizen. We did? In the event that you were unable or unwilling to do so, we also agreed that it would become pertinent to reassess your future status at the Academy. Despite all this, you engaged in the following actions yesterday. Insubordinate language. Witnesses saying you were involved in bullying Nathan Prescott. The hell I was. I stood up for that little weirdo. I suppose that's one interpretation of events. Say what you will about my daughter, but she is not a bully. Maybe oh, you should be talking to Drew instead of me. You know, the guy who actually did what you're accusing me of. Mr. North's situation requires sensitivity. It will be handled separately. And Chloe's situation is less sensitive? I do not discuss other students' situations. We are here to discuss your daughter and her actions. With another Indeed. student in the room. Mom, you know this is all bullshit, right? I'm beginning to suspect that myself. I am sorry you feel that way, but your daughter's misbehavior is real and serious. And yet, even with your prodigious disciplinary record, Miss Price, we needn't discuss any of it. We needn't? No, because you severed your relationship with Blackwell the minute you left school grounds without permission. What does that mean? It means... You forced my hand. This is a consequence of your actions, Chloe. I have no choice I but to... I made her do it. What? 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 Yesterday was all me. My idea. I was having a bad day. I needed to blow off some steam, and I took it too far. Chloe tried to talk me out of it. I've been down that road, she told me. You're better than this, but I wouldn't listen. See, She's a good actor. Chloe was afraid I'd get in trouble or hurt, so she came with me, but only to keep me safe. <laughs> I'm just Tricking sorry you around. got caught <laughs> up in it, to say. that you allowed me to drag you down to my level. Can you forgive me? For what? For what? You didn't do anything. Your willingness to stand by me, even now, is truly inspiring. Chloe, is this true? It's true. Totally not true. She really is an amazing actress. Miss Price? Um, hold that thought. Let me catch up real quick. Uh, no, it's good. I started it before a skip. Then I played other games, and now I'm picking it up again. Oh, I see. Okay. Oh, God. People are pitching up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that doesn't really change a lot, I don't think. Um, nope. Complete and total bullshit. Chloe. You're an awesome actor, Rachel. You almost convinced me, and I know you're lying. But come on. Miss Price, Miss Amber, one of you girls better start telling me what actually happened. 
now. It's fine. Really. You're right. The truth is, I didn't convince Chloe to ditch with me. I practically forced her to. <laughs> Come on. I was feeling angsty and reckless. Tired of living up to the perfect image everybody expects. She's determined. Her. I told Chloe if she didn't come with me, I might do something crazy. Like what? Graffiti, steal alcohol, maybe even abuse marijuana. <laughs> I didn't. <gasps> thank God. But that's only because Chloe was there. She looked out for me, even after I threatened her. I told her I would blame her for everything if she didn't come along. I knew it would be easy, given all of the prejudices against her. Uh, now... This is some serious... Chloe, I told her. If you get blamed for this, you will be in serious trouble. Serious trouble. Whereas I, <laughs> having... She's trying to... Rockwell, ...will not. Think about it, I told her. And don't do She's, anything yeah. you regret. Anyway... That's what really happened. Oh, Rachel. <clears throat> I'm glad we have finally gotten to the bottom of this matter. Though the revelation brings me no pleasure. Miss Amber, I am disappointed in you. Oh, we don't I even get understand. an option to refute it. This being your first infraction in no way reduces its severity. Still, we will not be suspending you at this time. But you have squandered our trust. You will no longer be my administrative assistant, first period. And you will no longer be involved in Blackwell's performance of The Tempest. No. Uh, what, are you insane? What? Are you insane? Your discipline is still pending, Miss Price. Ray, she loves that show. Since this is her first infraction, Mr. Don't you Amber, think, uh... I don't tell you how to run the district attorney's office. Please don't tell me how to run my school. There's a reason we have understudies for all circumstances, accidental and deliberate. I'm sure your understudy, Victoria Chase. Ugh. Yes, I'm sure Victoria Chase will do fine. That. Is such... What was that, Miss Price? Chloe is upset for her friend, but we are both grateful that she is not going to be unduly blamed for what happened. There is plenty of blame to go around. Chloe's future at Blackwell will be discussed next, unless you had something to add first, Miss Price. Ah. Uh. We'll go along with Rachel. <sighs> no. Nothing to add. I'm glad. Though Chloe may not have been the mastermind of yesterday's events, it was, as I prefaced, the proverbial last straw. In light of your many past transgressions, I have no choice but to suspend you for the rest of the year. But it was the other girl's idea. She confessed. And she will be punished accordingly but that does not absolve Chloe of her responsibility. I am truly sorry it has come to this, but Chloe will have the chance for reinstatement in the fall. Her actions beginning now will be weighed heavily in that decision. Do you understand me? Both of you. <laughs> I know what understand this is gonna be. Let's, let's try to be civil. Yeah. yeah, I guess. I mean, as much as I ever do. Chloe, we understand, Mr. Wells. I will have Skip Matthews escort you to clean out your locker. You may wait outside my office until he arrives. That is all. Good day, Mrs. Price, Mr. and Mrs. Amber. Ray. Come on, so, Chloe. This was only because of school skipping. Dang, suspended for the year. Right now, I'm coloring a sloth, and I put a Canadian symbol on his hat. <laughs> Slothy, that's awesome. <laughs> so 
Someday you'll have to experience the wonderful country up here. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, too. Meet me at the junkyard later? You bet. I didn't get the chance to introduce myself. I'm Joyce. Mrs. Price. I'm Rose. This is James. I'm sorry we had to meet like this. No, I'm sorry. I'm sure for you this is an unusual circumstance. We really should be going. Nice to meet you. <clears throat> Mom, I'm... I'll see you in the parking lot. Hey, Chloe. I'm supposed to walk you out. Just you and me, eh, Skip? You know I was supposed to have today off, right? Sorry that my totally fair and impartial hearing inconvenienced you, man. <laughs> I don't really care about any of this shit. Except my secret stash. Might as well grab my emergency joint while I'm here. Um... Sure. Almost. <laughs> uh, take the picture. Hint, hint, don't go to the parking lot. I, I don't think that's avoidable. Her mother is there. <laughs> Let's take it. Or <laughs> we'll throw it in the trash, I guess. That works too. Trusty keeper of my graffiti pens. You've served me well. I'm surprised he's keeping an eye out, like, technically lockers are school property. They can watch her every move if they really wanted to. Uh, yeah, that's it so far. Oh, that one looks so sad. Retrieve. Oh. Come on, Check Chloe. Pot. Wait. What the hell? Damn it, Justin. Chloe, hey yo, had to borrow your stash. Desperate times. You know, I promise I'll get you back next week. <laughs> Fuck well, every inch of this place. I wish I could tag it from floor to ceiling. But with Skip watching me... Uh, bathroom. Then I'm out. Cool? <sighs> okay. But try to make it fast, will you? Chloe, what are you gonna do? She feels like, apparently. Wait, Skip is a guard at the school? Yes. Clever. Women take forever to get ready. David. There will be consequences. Mom. Okay. Skip would be like, what's going on? There's no way she would draw all of this this quickly. 
without him saying something. Brave New World. He must have dozed off. Okay, that's a cool picture of the bird, though. Oh, he didn't doze off. Okay. <laughs> I don't think Victonica liked what she saw. Oh, well. So, Slothy, if you don't mind my asking, how many different games do you have on the go now? Oh, God, David's there. Of course he is. But ten, oh, my God. Okay. <laughs> Later, Skip. Later. All right. Now, the obvious choice Looks that's like going to pop David's up here. is awesome wait didn't I see somebody else had a... oh, no. yeah right there what is this Max would have loved this shit Blackwell Academy the feature needs excellence because of a generous grant from the Prescott Foundation uh, Blackwell will be offering several new courses next fall designed to nurture the artistic gifts of its student Visual con oh, look at all the art programs, courses, whatever. By invitation only, special thanks to Caroline Prescott. Awesome. You're Justin, aren't you? Oh, you're Elliot. All right, let's talk to you real quick. Hey, Elliot. What brings Chloe Price to school on a Saturday morning? Nothing good, I bet. I, they went on a Saturday uh, morning? Was suspended. Wait, really? Holy shit! <laughs> I know. I'm surprised it took this long, too. Do you want a hug? <laughs> no, I'm good. Let's not make a big deal out of this. Oh, sorry. Right, yeah. Yeah, it sucks for Rachel, too. She was kicked out of the play because of me. She'll live. Harsh, man. Anyway, what are you doing here? I thought I should come early to grab tickets. For the Tempest? You said we might see it together. Ah, oh, right. Good call. Did you get my text about hanging out afterwards? Uh, hold on. Let's see some chatter. Um, art. <laughs> hey, Petito, how's it going? He's worse than Warren. I don't know. He doesn't seem too bad. He's a little more awkward. Oddly enough, I think about it. She'll love. Uh, <laughs> hey, I would not wrong. Yeah. Warren is better drunk. Live. Oh, she'll live. Oh, I see. Uh. <laughs> Oh, the foreshadowing is real. Actually, I guess it's not really foreshadowing yet. Irony, I guess, would be a better word. Um, yeah. Text, sorry, no. Sorry, Elliot, but I'm probably going to hang out with Rachel. She might be pretty bummed about missing the show. Oh, yeah. I guess that makes sense. I better go. My mom is waiting to sick her attack mustache on me. <laughs> her boyfriend. It, don't worry about it. See you around, Elliot. Yeah. Later. The attack mustache. Those are terrifying. Why does it want me to move faster? 
It's about damn time. David, please. I'll handle it. Chloe, after today. Chloe, your mother and I have been talking. Can we play through this later? Can we do this later? I don't think I can handle another fight right now. And who do you expect to handle things for you? Your mother? This isn't a fight, Chloe. It's a conversation. Remember that. I don't need a conversation. Not with Sergeant Asshat here. I just need some space. Do not use that language with your mother. If my mother has something to say, she will say it to me. She has. The problem is, you don't listen. Maybe if you try listening to me, instead of fighting me about everything, you might actually learn a thing or two. What? How to be a soldier? Soldiers put family and future above self and now. Getting kicked out of school? That's what losers do. Good David, job. David, that's out of line. You weren't with us in there. Chloe was treated unfairly. Now you're making excuses for her? Chloe needs to take responsibility. I decide what Chloe needs, not you. Right now, what I need most of all is for the two of you to start getting along. Head of the belt. Chloe, I care about Joyce very much. I'm willing to forgive you for the incident yesterday. If you improve your attitude going forward. Incident? What incident? Uh -oh. Chloe was incredibly out of line. She insulted me. Swore at me. But with an apology, I'm willing to start over. Ah, <sighs> poor choice. Sure. Reset button pressed. I am glad to hear it. That wasn't really an From apology, on, Chloe. I will be assisting your mother in a few areas. Like making sure that you are no longer abusing drugs or alcohol. David, do you really think now is the right time? Joyce, please. We must be a united front. Mom. Chloe, I'd like you to empty your pockets and place all your belongings on the trunk of the car. What the fuck? If we are going to start over, we have to know that you are not abusing drugs. If you're not, you should be eager for the chance to prove it. Mom, well, you we didn't saw get the how weed. I was treated in there. Now you want to treat me the same way? I don't need more discipline from you. I need my mom. I know, Chloe. And I'm sorry, but David feels... Joyce. We feel this is the best way to start fresh. Let's go, Chloe. Quit stalling. Well, she doesn't have anything, so... And he's making babies with her mom. You don't know that. <laughs> Fine. You want to see my shit so badly? Yeah, yeah, that's that's you know about what, what I would have expected. Even worse than invading someone's privacy, doing it for no reason. You're awfully smug for someone who just got kicked out of school. Oh, David. You just don't Chloe, stop. I'm sorry. Can you forgive me? Yeah, but not him. Sure. As long as you promise to never speak to this asshole again, Chloe. Joyce, you can't start apologizing now. This will only encourage her. That's enough out of you, David. We need to start treating each other better. And that means all of us. We need a new beginning. A new chapter. 
One that will involve the three of us together. W what does that mean? We both agree that the best thing for everyone at this stage is for me to move in. Yeah, saw that coming. No fucking way! Chloe, after everything that's happened, uh, I'm at a loss. I need help. Hello? Kuno, how you doing? I redeemed an emote. Uh, that's kind of cool. Nice little wave. <laughs> how are you doing tonight? Making use of the hug command. That's awesome. Awesome. Cannot speak. Um, <laughs> yeah, how are you doing tonight? Exactly. We need a firmer hand steering this ship. Talk to me, Chloe. Tell me what you're feeling. Really? You want to do this out in the parking lot? I guess that's you're the You're trying. Option. I get it. I, I swear, I do. And I've been making it harder for you. But this is not the answer. It's the only answer I have, Chloe. In a million years, I never thought you'd choose David over me. I'm sorry I took that for granted. I'm not choosing anyone over anyone else. It's about the three of us having a home together. It'll be better than you think, Chloe. Once everything's running smoothly, you'll see what a stable home can be like. What's going to happen when she gets in there? Or do I have to choose to go in there? Or is she hey! go? There is no home. Not if he's there. Chloe. Let her go. She'll come home as soon as her tantrum is over. tantrum I wonder how David would feel if he if some of his um, experiences from the war were called tantrums awesome got the Huey helicopter and War Thunder well considering I don't even know what the game is much less how difficult that uh, would be um, I'm gonna go out on a limb and assume that it's difficult and congratulate you so congratulations <laughs> I could download War Thunder. Hey, if it's something that interests you, go for it. Stream elements, nobody's asking you. Everyone knows cookies by now. Oh, she's getting high. What are you hanging off of? How do you know which way is up when your whole life has been turned upside down? So, uh, Kuno, are you going to try another War Thunder stream at some point? I know you said that your computer was kind of, or not your computer, the, uh, the internet was not the best for it, but, um, it might still look decent. I mean, I got the AH-1G Cobra helicopter last year in July, so they take a lot to get. Uh, maybe. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Slothy, you already won at the slots. It's going to be a long time before you probably win again. That's not a challenge, by the way. <laughs> hey, there you go. Oh, we're at the junkyard. Black Hole's done with me. I can't go home anymore. Is 
this junkyard all I've got left? Well, you got Rachel. The fire's still going back there? Hey, Gamma. What is wrong with Twitch? It was loading forever. The stream or the ad that comes before the stream? You're not a sub, right? No, you're not. So you probably would have seen an ad before you came in. I noticed that sometimes uh, when ads try to load up, it can take a little longer than it should. Oh, well, oh, okay. <laughs> That bad, all things considered. Battery's dead. <laughs> yep. This thing is a mess. But maybe I can fix it. If this beast will ever run again, the first thing it needs is a new battery. Wonder if I can find one around here. Uh, three new messages. ABFW alert system. Why is Wells trying to contact me? That's weird. Let's see what he wants. Members of the Blackwell community, please be advised that a fast-moving wildfire has recently been sighted in the vicinity of Culmination State Park. I have spoken with the Arcadia Bay Forest Watch, who do not believe any evacuations are necessary at this time, as the Blackwell campus is not within the affected area or the fire's current projected path. Please utilize caution while traveling to and from campus. Faculty and staff have been asked to waive punctuality requirements for all sports and extracurricular activities this weekend. Okay, so that's why he's texting. It's just an alert. Um, oh, you're just gambling some more. <laughs> All right, what do you want, Rachel? Dear God, how far back do I have to go? Made it into my house without seeing either of my parents. Sweet. Okay, so this is right after the events from last game. You were born to be a spy, jumping out of trains and shit. Oh, man, we make such a great team. No enemy viewfinder would ever be safe from you again. Meanwhile, you're deep undercover as a passed out person. <laughs> oh well, today was unforgettable. Some of it sucked. Yeah. You know what doesn't suck? What? You. Aww. You also don't suck. I know. <laughs> we should probably sleep. Got Wells tomorrow morning. Yeah, my fault. Worth it. Wells blows. That meaning Hella sucked. Okay, so we've moved on. Yeah, okay. You're hella weird. You are. Seriously, we'll get revenge. Oh, no. I, I predict more graffiti in our future. All right. What is this? Fire weather update. Or fire weather? Uh, Arcadia Bay Forest Watch. Arcadia Bay, Oregon. 2.02 a.m. PST. Saturday, May 8th, 2010. Active Class D wildfire not contained. Use caution. Check local media for road closures. All right. Glad I read that. What do you want, Elliot? Um, read all that. Um, no, let's talk later. Okay, here we go. Holy shit, did you get Wells' text about fire? You okay? Yeah, you? Yeah, I'm fine. Yeah, I'm just in my room, sorry. Hey, at the Tempest, you want to hang out? That's the text he was talking about. Okay. All right, Mom, what do you want? Okay, here we go. Your school called. I think you know why. We have a meeting tomorrow with Principal Wells. I need you to do better. Chloe? Chloe? Chloe, I'm worried about you. Please let me know you're okay. Chloe, did you hear there's a fire? Please text me so I don't worry. 
Chloe, are you okay? Chloe, please. Oh my god. I'm fine. Well, thank goodness. Come home by, per by curfew. We have that meeting early tomorrow. Again, Chloe? Really? Chloe, you can't keep doing this to me. I am trying my best. Chloe, David's trying to do what he thinks is best. He's such a tool. I didn't like that he asked you to empty your pockets. And then you were completely innocent. Chloe, can't you just forget about David for a sec? Think about me. Maybe I just need space, okay? Maybe I need my daughter back. Oh, jeez. It's trying to hit people in the fields. Oh, oh, are we going to look at her hand again? Yep. Get battery, put in truck. <laughs> she has to write that down on her hand. I don't need to look at a mannequin head. I would assume that we would be looking at... Oh, I know what we're going to need. We need to look for Dad's car, don't we? That's this here, isn't it? No. Not going over there. Nope. All right. I thought we were going to have to sacrifice the car to the battery in the car so she can have her truck. That's cute. Radio? Nah, we'll leave that. There's got to be a battery under one of these car hoods. Right? Oh, no, this is a vortex club. I wouldn't mind joining. Communism, atheism, free love. The Motley Ball. Class of 81? Oh my god. Outcast Unite. That thing is almost 30 years old. Christmas lights. This rug has some miles on it. Oh, I thought you were going to, like, move it and see what's underneath or something. I'm unable to sleep normally, so you're lucky to see me in chat. That's just every time you're here, Gamma. <laughs> Being as far ahead as you are, um, time zone-wise, um, yeah, I'm, I'm really surprised to see you every time you're here. I'm grateful. But still surprise. <gasps> Investigate. This is no good. Oh well. Communism cited. Lethal force engaged. <laughs> you sound like a fallout robot. <laughs> bottles, bottles everywhere, and not one beer to drink. Oh, you'll survive. Is that the thing she smashed? Sorry, Max. I think I'm more jealous of you than anything. Hopefully, I'll be escaping this place soon, too. Well, maybe not. Siren! How are you doing tonight? Target verified. <laughs> All right, well, that's what we're trying to salvage, so no. I guess we have to go over this way. School bus! I wonder if I'll ever ride one of these again. Oh, maybe not. All right. Beach towel. Oh. This looks like a very bad idea. Oh well, let's do it anyways. What trying to hide under their hood? The jack's gonna come off the tire, isn't it? What nope. are you trying to hide under their hood? That is not. Stop it! Look, the button is right there. Just. Oh. This wow. Is <laughs> Shitty ride, drug dealer. I really thought crime paid better. This vehicle, is, this vehicle has been seized and impounded in execution of a warrant order. This, okay, yeah, well, that wasn't nearly as exciting as I thought it would be. 
I'm okay, a little migraine. You, yeah, you mentioned something like that in uh, Skip's stream. It's unfortunate that you haven't. Uh, it hasn't let up at all. Uh, I'm doing okay. So you have arrived just in time Here to see Chloe go. try to the litter. repair an old truck. <clears throat> Sorry, I had to sneeze. Didn't think you'd want to hear that. Oh, why is there a syringe out in the open? Here's a side of Arcadia Bay they don't put on the postcards. I probably looked at that last stream. I feel like I heard her say that before. Uh, here it is, yeah, okay. Oh, fun. <laughs> well, it was a very dramatic beginning to the stream. Um, she... See, I know you're going to be playing these games at some point, so I'm always afraid to like tell you to catch you up if you don't want to be spoiled. Yes, you were here earlier. That's true. Come on, Chloe. You can do it. Don't electrocute yourself. Did you just fry your battery? If that's all it needed, I'm going to laugh. Are you going to hotwire it? Damn. This thing needs more love than I can give right now. In the meantime, maybe I can spruce it up a bit. Oh, is this going to be your home? It's okay, I'll fill myself in when I play, no worries. All right, sounds good. What do you want, Rachel? How far back do we get? I wish there was a better way of doing this. Chloe Price. I don't suck. You really, really don't. My mom thinks I do. Don't know if I can stand going home tonight. Still there? Grabbing something from home, then I'll meet you at Junkyard. See you really soon. You better. <laughs> Gamma, why are you hugging elitism? <laughs> uh, Torrent C. Probably a good idea to cover over this with something. That'll be the beach towel I saw. While an escape hatch could be nice, I should probably cover over this massive hole. I don't know if I've seen anything yet that would, uh... Maybe there's Christmas another lights. light bulb I can put in here. And that's it, right? Just the three things? Okay. So we know for sure two of the three things that we have to do. Or I'm... Okay. Let's Pretty see what else this trash heap has to offer. I just have to remember where I saw them now. <laughs> okay, beach towel, I believe, was over here. Yep, there it is. I want to be the very best, like no one ever... Like no one ever was. If you're going to be quoting Pokemon... <laughs> This could you gotta do it right. Seat and look awesome doing it. F. <laughs> oh. No. Oh, let's hear what Chloe has to say about that. Don't tell me what to do. That was not as um, good as I thought it was going to be. Wait, is that the bulb I need, really? You might not work. Then again, I hardly ever work. Okay. 
I thought it was going to be Christmas lights, but fine. Oh, I, saw, I thought I saw something in there. I don't need the police notice. That's not going to help. I Are used you? to love opening up the diner with mom before school. I guess those days are now officially over. Stop being so melodramatic. Oh, the welcome mat. Here we go. That's the perfect way to cover up a hole you in your floor, right? You cover that life-endangering floor hole quite nicely. <laughs> I thought we were looking for, like, a sheet of metal or something, at least. I want Christmas lights. Uh, maybe that's an option? Wait, placemat? Oh, that's the two diner. No, I don't need that. Don't kill Pokemon Slothy. No. <laughs> All right. Better head back to the truck. We'll get there in a minute. Don't tell me what to do. Oh, can we take? No, we can't. Can I put Slothy in a timeout? <laughs> Slothy, you know that um, you, you are a sloth, right? Okay, no, we cannot take the Christmas lights. You gotta love a place where even Christmas looks depressing. All we did was make Chloe sadder. Well, we tried. Oh, look! We have a putting You're green. A long way from the country club, guy. No, not the timeout, damn. <laughs> Slothy, leave the poor Pokemon alone. Excuse me. All right, Chloe. Spruce up your truck. Really? Fix? That's the word you want to use for this? Even saying jury rig isn't really exactly the, uh, the right way to putting it. in. Alright, I guess we won't know if it works until we actually get the, you know, vehicle started. It doesn't look that bad for a trash vehicle. There you go. This thing looks like a rusted out shopping cart. Probably drives like one too. That's if it ever does drive, which seems questionable. Optimism. Still, how sweet would that be? My controller is vibrating. Oh, it's her phone, okay. Yeah? Bryce, it's Frank. Oh. Hey, Frank. What's up? Yeah, just checking in to see how you're doing. Really? No. Listen, we've got <laughs> some business to discuss. Where can we meet? What about... Oh, like... drugs? Bryce. I'm hanging out in the junkyard, north of town. The junkyard? That's great. Stay there, I'll see you soon. Okay. And Frank? Um. Um. Nah. After you hang up, are you going to smash your phone? Like, in the movies? And if so, can I smash it? Trust me, Price. If 
What does that even mean? Slothy, you're saying things that I don't know how to Time respond to again. Hard <laughs> smoke break. Uh, business. Yep, exactly. Um, sure, let's graffiti it. You only it. get one chance to make a first expression. Oh, mystical or frightening, guys? Any particular preferences? I have no idea what it's going to turn out like either way. Mystical like me, mystical. All right. Let's go with mystical, see what we get. Hey, yeah, Skip. The eye sees. Feels on all. wheels. Crap! I missed the graffiti. What did I do? Oh, it's the stupid Illum Illuminati symbol. Uh, hello, teenage panda. <laughs> oh, oh! Can we actually Does turn it on? Does your truck look like an aquarium on wheels? <laughs> Didn't think so. Hey, it works. Huzzah! You know you want to, Chloe. <laughs> Did you see the little smirk she had? <laughs> All right, let's see what's in here. Easter egg. What's the what Easter egg, Emma? What do we have here? Oh God, I'm almost afraid to see what this is. Yep. This will do. What is it? Okay. <laughs> Uh, I guess there's all the only thing that's left is the smoke, so let's do that. Illuminati, of course, this game was made to brainwash us with the stream. <laughs> I fell behind there a little bit. Let me catch up real quick. Whoa, it's working with me. <laughs> Yay. How many episodes is this? Um, the main game is three episodes, and there's... Shit. I slept all day. Illuminati is flying, guys. What the hell? It's not anymore. So your father's car is on fire and somebody's roasting marshmallows with a bird. All right, sure. Told you, man, yes, you did. <laughs> oh my God, Skip. <laughs> 
We're not gonna get killed. She's tripping balls. Dad? Okay, it is William. Abducted. <laughs> All right, let's grab the stick. Teenage girls do do something with balls. I don't know about tripping them though. Oh God, Skip. <laughs> That's so bad. In the words of the doors, there's a killer on the road. There's no murder here. It's just tripping ball. Marshmallow roasting with dead father. Completely normal. Life is horror. Life is acid trips. Victoria. Victonica Slothy. Murderer. No. There's no murderer here. Yes, Victoria. Oh my god, you even said it right. Amazing, isn't it? I can't look away. Sure. Don't pretend you're not mesmerized, too. <clears throat> See? You're so drawn to it, you don't even realize the danger. Danger? Fire blinds us. Just like darkness, but darkness blinds with absence, with loss. What does fire blind with? Destruction. Beauty. Oh. But sometimes there's a greater beauty yet to come. Incredible. Fire is jealous, Chloe. It wants all the beauty for itself. That's why you need to be careful. Careful of what? Rachel? <laughs> of getting burned. What? <laughs> Okay. That was weird. Um, all right, well, we're catching up. Um, dirty stick. Don't misunderstand, please. Well, why'd you say it then, Cam? <laughs> if you chose the other ending, maybe Victoria would be dead. Oh, Rachel's here. Sorry, Hasn't anyone there. ever told you not to fall asleep with a lit cigarette? You could start a fire. <laughs> so, are you gonna invite me in? Or what? Not sure. I don't know. I'm not supposed to give rides to strangers. What if I promise you free candy? <laughs> Hop in. <laughs> oh, free candy. Oh, okay. Why does she have a bag of stuff? Hey, you like this sweet ride. Damn, you've been busy. It's nothing. Just some junk I found lying around. A rainbow towel? What's wrong with that? A freaky red light? 
Holy shit. The all-seeing eye. <laughs> Figured it can't hurt to have the Illuminati on our side for whenever shit goes down. <laughs> Always thinking ahead. Chloe, this is incredible. I, I can't believe you found us an escape vehicle already. I hope so. <laughs> That's the hope. But it doesn't exactly drive yet. You'll figure it out. And while you're at it, we're also gonna need some money. <laughs> you know, to buy stuff. Uh-huh. Car and money? <laughs> Anything else you'd like? Luckily, there's no rush. True. And no Blackwell. <sighs> Holy shit. <laughs> that Wells meeting. I'm so sorry. I can't believe he actually suspended you. Really? I'd say it's like the most believable thing that's ever happened to anyone in the history of forever. <laughs> I'm just so pissed about the play. How could they let Victoria Chase jack your role? Because life is a tale told by an idiot, full of sound and fury, signifying nothing. Yeah, totally. You're too profound, At least Chloe. Wells has no idea what really went down with us last night. Shit got pretty wild. Okay, I feel like I'm falling really behind here. Sorry, guys. Um. Okay, here we go. Booty, the end of the world. <laughs> okay. Two-Face. Yeah, that's kind of what it reminded me of, actually. Uh, yeah, I'll be happy when Victoria's dead. That's not very nice. <laughs> actually, I think in one of the realities, she actually was a victim. I don't remember if that's ever confirmed or not. Batman crossover. <laughs> Could you imagine? Five bucks, she sets the car on fire. I have a feeling fire is going to be a big role in this game. Like, we're going to see a lot more than what we've already seen. Nice human face. Siren, you got five bucks? Nice, I wish I did. <laughs> Skip, you have something better than five dollars. You have Skip Raves. And Kakarot. <laughs> Damn, I was wrong. Well, I mean, they alluded to that. It's too early in the game to try to set the vehicle on fire. Wait, the limits of bucks and does you can have are like two. Okay. Slothy, I'm gonna come to your state in June and poop in it. That's a weird thing to say, Skip. <laughs> and Slothy's getting stranger. All right, I don't want pink eye. Life is tail. Life is strange. All right, you guys are just talking about poop, so I'm gonna carry on. Uh, pretty wild. Rachel, that was more than pretty wild. You went absolutely nuts last night. What the hell were you thinking? I was angry. I didn't expect the whole stupid park to go whoosh. But now you're in on it too. Accessory after the fact. Unless you tell on me, of course. I'm no snitch. <laughs> I'd be way happier going to jail than having to live at home with Dick Tater David. He announced his plans to move in this morning. Oh, Chloe, that's awful. I'm so sorry. You know what we both could use? <laughs> Therapy. <laughs> Therapy. <laughs> you stay. Marijuana? Kick back and tell me what's bothering you. Oh, okay. We're going to be each other's therapists, I see. Skip rays don't pay the bills. You say that, but, I mean, you get bits. I see Dan and other people throwing those bits when you throw the raves and whatnot. Don't you lie to me. <laughs> I won't poop in your estate. I don't like pooping any away from home. A lot of people have that rule, Skip. Then I will not well, poop in your Doc. pillow. <laughs> um, Blackwell. I've been booted from school, and I'm not entirely sure what to do about it. You mean how to cope with your feelings of anger and disappointment? No. I mean, how to express my feelings of intense joy. Uh-huh. Do you think you might be taking this a little too well? 
You tell me. I'd say I'm exceptionally well adjusted. <laughs> I'd bet my therapist's license that no one's ever called you that before. <laughs> <laughs> Touche, Doc. Ah, uh, David. There's this dildo with a mustache who's been dating my mom, and now he thinks <sighs> he's moving in with us. How do I stop him? Hmm, that's a hard one. I'm not sure there's really anything you can do. Then what the hell am I talking to you for? <laughs> Just because you can't stop him doesn't mean you don't fight back. The resistance begins now. All right. Resistance. You're going to need a new nickname to mark your enemy. What have you got? <laughs> Chloe is uh, very, very clever, as uh, you can see. Um, Dan does give me bits for rave sometimes, I guess. <laughs> she doesn't say that, though. She always calls him step douche. Creative as hell. Yeah, I know, right? All right, Skip wants to go for step fuck. Slothy wants to go for step dick. I know a step douche. Step douche dildo is not an option, Gamma. Stop playing outside the rules here <laughs> does anybody have a preference within these three anybody else is it not going on no <laughs> communist knows that they have to go by the rules too step on you already said that <laughs> step panda all right i'm picking what i want then step douche he's uh step douche because he's inserting himself where he doesn't belong. Also, he's a douche. Poetic. May I also suggest stepladder? Why stepladder? Because he climbs on your mom every night. Ew. Oh. And pretty soon, they'll be stepping down the aisle. <laughs> what the hell kind of therapist are you? That? <laughs> Sorry. It's called shock therapy. Highly controversial. That was more clever. <laughs> <laughs> uh, pretty sure douches are inserted where they belong. Fair point, Skip. Um, do we want to talk about the fire? No, we don't. Let's move on. That was actually somewhat therapeutic. Thank you. It's always a pleasure delving into the mind of Chloe Price. Rachel Stern. And now it's your turn. Tell me all about what it's like being daughter of Arcadia Bay's most famous scumbag. It sucks. Too blunt? Sorry. I do that sometimes. Nah, I'm just... Ugh, I don't know. Can we talk about something else? Of course. Uh, truck. I kind of fixed the truck a bit. That might mean I have life skills, something I've really tried to avoid. <laughs> Upshot, I'm closer to becoming a car thief. <laughs> That's pretty badass. Life goals. Do you think there's a point when you've been acting so much that you don't even have your own personality anymore? You're just whatever you think other people want you to be. I think you have a personality. I wasn't talking about me. My dad doesn't really exist. You saw him in Wells' office. The whole thing is a performance. And now I'm starting to feel like Everything in my life is bullshit. But he's still my dad. How can I make sure I don't end up like him? Well, considering how much Chloe's kind of latched on, I feel like she would say that she wouldn't let her. You just need someone around who likes you for who you are and isn't afraid to call bullshit when needed. Let me know if you find any candidates for the job.
shit. It's playtime. Gotta go clean out my dressing room for Victoria. Not exactly the role I thought I'd be playing tonight. Oh well. Hey, I, I was thinking that after the show, maybe we could go do something. Just you and me. Something criminal? Criminally fun. <laughs> oh, I'm in. No. I got a bad feeling about this, guys. Wait, you forgot your bag. It's for you. Just a little survival kit for your new life on the lamb. Drive safe, Chloe. Thanks, Rachel. Okay, well, she's gonna build a base, obviously, so let's catch up real quick. That was no help. Talk with the Illuminati. How is that gonna be any more helpful, Gamma? Dragon Quest Heroes. I mean, the actual Heroes, not the game spinoff. I, I've only ever played one Dragon Quest game, and that was eight, so that reference is completely over my head. Sorry, Gamma. <laughs> Illuminati quest heroes. There you go. Stream elements talking about ripping again. That's the press. I see a lot of that. You're going to see a lot of that in this game. See those power swirls we're just swishing around? Yeah, it seems to be tied to um, Rachel whenever she's not happy. Frustrated, anger, sad, whatever. That's when you start to see that, I've noticed. Uh, skip, sleep stuff, P animal or pillow. Thank you for the lurk, you know. You don't want to see Victonica? <laughs> yes, you have to pull it out. All right. Hello, Junk Shack. Yay, Junk Shack. I'll be here. I'm just not going <laughs> to talk. Time to check out All right, fair enough. mystery bag. All right, guys. Any any bets as to what's in the survival bag? Tapestry. Dartboard. Just going to make a nice little home here. Prop up. This place is the shit. It's like... My junk fortress of solitude. All right, let's see what's in there. A bag full of clothes. Yes, I need those. All right, let's try them on. <laughs> Nothing like an abandoned shack in the middle of a junkyard to make a girl feel like exploring a new wardrobe. <laughs> I like that one. Um, oh, it's just a three. Okay. Let's go with that. That looks cool. All right, we're going to stick with that. Frank. Why don't I remember who was Frank? Is that the guy that was picking on Nathan? Oh, no, Frank, Frank, right. Um, I'm at the junkyard now. We'll get there. Let's make this look nice and pretty first. Tapestry. Don't you dare junk my yard. I'll yard your junk. Yeah, I said it. 
<laughs> Alright, that's not absolutely terrible. Uh, oh, the dartboard. Touche. <laughs> I, what, what are you hanging that off of, Chloe? All right, mystical um, energies, I guess. Frank's Wall. outside. I should get going if I'm done changing. You'll get there. Make your mark. Cannon wall. Oh, because... Canon is spelt with only one N or two N's, C A N O N. So we're following the canon of what was in the first game. Rachel will sign it too, I'm sure. I guess that's the door that we'll eventually yeah, leave. All right, let's go see what Frank wants. The woman we saw with Rachel's dad. Weird. Yeah. Yo, Frank. It's Chloe. I don't know the secret password, man. Is the password drugs? Frank, <laughs> get your ass in here. I guess that was the secret password. <laughs> Why is Frank being so weird? I guess we'll find out in a minute. Dude, it smells like piss in here. Shut up. You have a rough night or something? Every night's a rough night. I've got a notebook in the back somewhere. Go get it for me, would you? Who is that? Ah! God. Jeez, man. Get my notebook, Price. Then we'll talk. About what? Now I'm fetching things for Frank. How low can I go? So, oh. See, he's the one that swiped the joint from her locker. Dude, I heard the bad news. The su suspensions suck. You mean good news? I'm stoked. Word. I'm home too. I finally got busted yesterday for smelling like weed. My mom's making me go to her book group. Oh, man. How is going to a book group going to help? <laughs> he doesn't have nudes, Chloe. Or Chloe. Slothy. <laughs> it's going to be his... Um, Drug book, I'm guessing. Hey there. It's okay, little guy. Oh. Oh shit. Pompadour, get up here. Pompadour's a puppy, guys. Pompadour. <laughs> Look at it. It's so cute. <laughs> Oh, that's adorable. People need to stop texting me. Why are we doing this in real time? That was weird. Uh, Tempest is going to be awesome. Like, awesomely bad, I mean. It's going to be hilarious. Hey, don't worry about the suspension, okay? Dude, I'm fine. Totally glad I read that. That was very, very useful. Frank's knife. Oh. Yeah, this looks like the book from uh, the first game. Is this what I think it is? Ah, uh, shit. I'm in the red. Drew has a tab of a thousand and fifty dollars. Dear God. I 
touch anything in there. I'm just grabbing the book and getting out, Gamma. Sloth in, leave the pig Pokemon alone now. Time to find out what Frank wants to discuss. So he must have just gotten this because it's not decked out in weirdness. Like, it kind of looks new still. It doesn't look, what's the word, as lived in as it did in the first game. All right, here's your notebook. Is this it? Have a seat. Pompadour, huh? That's one badass name for a dog. It's French. French for what? Does it mean, like, tough guy or something? Do I look like I speak fucking French? You knew it was French. Okay, so who was that woman? What woman? The one I saw coming out of your RV. Oh yeah, I meant to introduce you. Her name is Mind Your Own Fucking Business. Let it go. Okay. Fine. Guess Rachel's dad is into bad girls. You hear the mill burn down? <sighs> Shit. Really? Crazy. My friend Damon runs the place. He lost a lot of money last night. How about you? How about you? Did you lose anything in the fire? No. But I'll probably get pulled into whatever shit Damon's dealing with right now. Lately, he's been doing some stuff that I don't like. But I don't seem to have much leverage with him like I once had. Anyway, I'll talk you and I have shit to discuss. Is this about the buck 75? What? The money that I owe you? Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, I, I don't give a shit about that. Wait, do you have it? <laughs> Go hassle someone, Richard. Don't you have richer clients to bother? I should fucking hope so. <laughs> well, good. Because I need everything I've got. You're a pain in the ass. I've got bigger problems right now. Open my notebook. Last page. Should be some entries for a kid named Drew. You know him? Drew North? Yeah, he's... Holy shit. That's a lot of money. Drew runs Oxy for Damon. Apparently football players eat it like candy. That's smart, I guess. It pays well? Go Bigfoots. <laughs> Problem is, Drew owes a grant, and he's not answering my calls. You know what's going on with them? Uh, no, we never talk. No, I never talk to him. Or his type. No one's just a type, Price. Anyway, here's the job. I'm taking you to Blackwell. Go to Drew's room, find the money, and I'll meet you to pick it up. Can you handle that? Leave that alone for the moment, so I'm gonna catch up real quick. Um, I wouldn't breathe in there, open the window. Gosh, I'm getting dizzy. <laughs> this looks clean compared to what it was in the first game. She's just my concubine. <laughs> God, that doesn't feel right. I, I, I don't know. It, it doesn't feel right to go through his room. Does it feel right that he stole a grand from me? From you or from Damon? Same difference. Well, it's not my problem. Don't say that. Idiot, you still owe me. That's why you don't say that. So, if I do this, then we're good? That, and I'll do even better. I'll give you a 10% cut of the money. Okay. Yeah, sure. I'll do it. What's the matter? It might be a little tough. I, I'm not supposed to be at Blackwell. I got suspended this morning. Congratulations. It's still easier Thank for you. you to go on campus than for me. That's you probably can't even true. Do this price. A hundred dollars closer to leaving Arcadia Bay. 
with a bit of cash and the truck fixed, Rachel and I could really do it. We could leave for good. I'll do it. Good deal. Oh, goody. We get to go back to Blackwell again after we were explicitly told to stay off. Great. Hello, Blackwell. Access rewind powers would probably come in handy here. What could go wrong? Yeah, exactly. Easy as cake, right? Didn't think I'd be back this soon. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Well, here goes nothing. Back at school yet again. They've got some tents up for dressing rooms. What are you up to? I'm here to actually running an errand for my dealer. Oh, really? So bad. Come see when you're done. Help me cope with the shittiness of seeing VC in my costume. Yeah, for sure. All right, so we're going to hunt for... Uh, Rachel. Once we're done stealing money. <laughs> Basically. Locked. Figures. Looks like my options are become a master lock picker or swipe someone's keys. Or, you know, you could just ask to be let in by, say, staff. Hey, Steph. Whoa. Hey, Chloe. Your shirt looks like the tea leaves they used to tell people's fortunes. How's my future looking? Bright and sunny. <laughs> yeah. Surprised to see me on parole? I told you Wells was out to get you. That she text was a rare courtesy, by the way. I don't normally get involved in other people's dumb decisions. Hey, Wendigo. How are you doing? I'm doing pretty good. How are you this evening? Thanks for trying, but skipping yesterday was totally worth it. Skipping with Rachel Amber does have an appeal. Well, yeah. So what are you doing here? Just running an errand. I'm just picking up something from uh, somebody. <laughs> it's for a friend. Now I'm really curious. What are you doing? What's all this stuff? I'm prepping for the Tempest show tonight. I'm the stage manager. Oh, right. Uh, I think I knew that. Honestly, the show's really good. It's worth seeing. I'm sure it is. <laughs> I am worried about Victoria coming in now and trying to hog every scene, but the cast overall is fantastic. You get to see a totally different side of everyone, especially the guys. Okay, I'm intrigued. Okay. We'll play along. I'm intrigued. Go on. Like, Hayden's so annoying, but when he puts on that crown, he's actually very princely. And Nathan is Caliban? <laughs> There's so much depth there. Right. Depth. <laughs> yeah, well, good luck with all of that. <laughs> Maybe I'll see you later. Oh, hey. I wanted to ask you something. Shoot. Shoot. I've been planning to make a move on Rachel, but not if you two were together. Make a move? So, are you? Uh... I mean, that's Rachel's business. Or maybe yours and Rachel's business. But if you feel comfortable telling me... I'm not sure, because I'm not. I'm... Uh, I, I don't know. It's... It's confusing. Yeah, I, I can imagine. You ever want to talk to me, Chloe, you know you can, right? 
I'll see you later, Steph. Have fun storming the castle. That was not even remotely helpful. Interfaith. Just. Discussion group. Ugh. What does that say? Doesn't say here. It looks like someone got rejected from Vortex Club. Oh. Nice, guys. Real nice. Um, doing good. I'm done with orientation and testing. Nice. How'd it go? <laughs> nice emos, guys. Um, all right. I guess we just take a look around, see what else we can see. That's going to be the person we're going to have to steal keys from, or this. Bingo. If only those keys were unsupervised. What's Samuel working on? Uh, the sprinklers? Oh, uh, we've come around full circle, guys. Did, did we do anything to the sprinklers? No? Okay. Can't go over there. Can we talk to you? We can. Squirrel statue. Nice work, Samuel. This guy is... He's so nice. Such a nice white door. <laughs> it feels like it's missing something. Does I like how we're in this guy's space. <laughs> That's some intellectual shit, Samuel. And he's not saying anything. Chaos Theory, the Frasalia, Ignis, Kravuska? Kravus? I, I don't know what that one is. It went well. I have to wait till the 4th to go to classes. Okay, so the orientation was just the, like, the testing, like you said. So it's, yeah, okay. Well, I mean, you, you got a taste of what's to come. So now you get a bit of a break before you're in full, like, in it for the long haul, I guess. Um, I might get a degree in computer programming to work on games. Oh, that sounds like uh, fun. Come on, Samuel. Hey, Samuel. Keeping busy? Always, Chloe Price. I didn't think you'd be returning to these hallowed halls so soon. <laughs> yep. Neither did I. I have the feeling it wasn't uh, the books or bricks of Blackwell that led you back. <laughs> what? You're here for someone. A special someone, yes? Um, Drew. I'm, uh, <laughs> looking for Drew North. Most look at Drew North and see only the athlete, but he is more than that. He is? A great heart he has, with much love and no room for fear. <sighs> I've always thought he was kind of a bully. He may be that, too. No one is just one thing. That's very true. All right, let's talk about Elliot. So, uh, what about Elliot Hampton? Have you seen him recently? I only see what Elliot wants me to see. Okay. <laughs> Usually I can see both what people want me to see and what they want to keep hidden. Oh, okay. We're going to get into some deep Chloe psyche here. Um, it's French. I don't know what it means. Is that Joy Guy? I'm going to say yes because I don't know what you mean by Joy Guy. Um, he is very happy, though. Good. What's good, Slothy? Okay. Um, I'm curious. What do I want to keep hidden? And, uh, what, what do I want to keep hidden? That you are lonely and afraid. He's not wrong. We're not telling him off. He's just being nice. 
It's okay not to be okay, Chloe Bryce. What is this question? Oh, okay. What do you think of uh, Rachel Amber? Rachel Amber is a dragon made of diamonds. That's, uh, deep. <laughs> do you just make this shit up on the fly, or do you, like, write it down beforehand? Are you angry all the time because you like the way it feels? Or is it merely a desperate defense against experiencing true intimacy with others? I've got to go, man. Uh, <laughs> it's been real. I often wonder what real is. Farewell, Chloe Price. This dude's very interesting. All right. Looks like we've exhausted our. Oh. Hello, bird. Evan's subject for the day. Better you than me, bird. What? If Samuel's working on the sprinklers, some damage here might get his attention. Okay. But Evan is right there. Oh, so we gotta get rid of him so that we can affect the sprinkler. Uh. Okay. What are you doing here? Aren't you supposed to be at home thinking over your endless list of questionable decisions? Dude, why do you care about my questionable decisions? It offends me when intelligence is wasted. <laughs> did Evan just call me intelligent? <laughs> In a roundabout Damn day, straight. he did. Wow. Evan looks really ridiculous. <sighs> He looks ridiculous. He did hey, just. Hey, uh, Evan, as intelligent as you look right now, you can still see that bird from where I'm standing. I appreciate your concern, but I want to get this shot exactly right. And I've learned something about myself recently. What's that? I've learned that if I'm passionate about something, it's probably the right thing to care about. For example, I've been trying to get the students and administration interested in forest fire prevention. That is kind of an odd topic to focus on. <laughs> People are so eager to pass on responsibility to anyone else so that they can live comfortable, unworried, and ultimately meaningless lives. You see what happened? <laughs> um, hold on one sec, guys. Come on, kitty. Scoot, scoot, scoot. There we go. I'm trying to get into something he's not supposed to. Bye, good night, people. All right, Slothy. Thank you again for the raid. I hope you have a good evening. Um, you know, as condescending as he is, there is a giant forest fire that's still raging, so I guess he was right. <laughs> Looks like you were right. Go, Evan. You're a hero of the people. I know you feel like I do. A about different things, I'm sure. But you only give a shit about what you give a shit about. I like that. I anyway, you're not supposed to be here. You should leave. <laughs> All right. Scare, I guess. Hey! <laughs> shit. I wanted you to go the other way. Like, as far as possible, the other way. <laughs> He's still trying to get it from there. Do I really have to keep trying to scare the bird just so I can mess up a sprinkler? Is there another one somewhere?
wet concrete. Why do I have a feeling this is going to be... Hey, there we go. If I can scare that bird far enough away, maybe Evan won't see me break that sprinkler. Apparently that had no bearing on anything. All right. I guess we're sticking with the bird thing. I have a feeling walking on that cement might have been a bad idea. Get inside the dorms. Why does she look so ridiculous when she's raising her hand? Like, look at her. <laughs> now you're a rock star. <laughs> I need to get that bird away from the quad so I can smash the Gotta scare it the other way. Do I actually have to come in at a specific angle? Time I for like a how fresh start. Evan is just like, eh. Okay. The angle I come go. in at actually matters. Uh, gotcha. There we go. Perfect. Oh, it actually helped him. Awesome. Now I just have to wait for Samuel to turn on the... I knew that was going to happen. <laughs> wow, she didn't get wet. Please don't see me. Just keep doing your repairs. You're good. Take. Sorry, Samuel. All right. Time to find Drew's room. I wonder if there's more than one way to get in here. No time like the present. Come on, Chloe. Why are you standing there with all the... <laughs> Seriously? Uh, hey, Skip. How's it going? Not oh, that my it isn't God. great to see you and all, but what are you doing here? Didn't you just get suspended? <laughs> uh, you did all of that and the door still got unlocked. <laughs> No, that's what I mean. Like, like really? <laughs> it is you. Um, and we learned his last name, too, and I forgot what it is already. <sighs> Hopefully it'll come up again. Ah, uh, visiting a friend. Relax. I'm just uh, visiting a friend. Lizzle. Yeah, I'm sorry. I should have known that. I really can't just let you go in. Samuel, oh no. For old time's sake. Come on, Skip. I break the rules and you think it's awesome. Let me break this rule. For old time's sake. I want to, Chloe, but I really can't. Well, I'm not gonna throw Samuel under the bus. So. I'm going inside, dude. You're just gonna have to let this slide. I don't think I can. In fact, 
I think I have to ask you to state your official business or else vacate Blackwell property. Why are you giving me back talk? I, I know this. The game is back talking me about back talk. I hate to do this to Skip, but I've got to get inside. Maybe if I make him really uncomfortable, he'll feel guilty and let me pass. All right. What's my official business? Uh, women's business. Women's business, Skip. As in, my uterus? I need to use the restroom. Glad you asked. What? No. No, it's my job to ask, Chloe. Your job is creepy. Your job is creepy, then. Which makes you kind of a creeper. Oh, it's not like that. Do you know what Wells would do to me if I didn't, you know, patrol? Is Wells pressuring you? Is Wells pressuring you to write more students up? I'm not even a student, but sure, don't let that stop you. I thought we were friends. Where is this coming from? I thought we were friends too. Uh, I, I thought we were friends too, but... When the man comes down on you, you come down on me. Is that it? Look, look, look. I am really sorry, Chloe. I'm just so confused right now. <laughs> you're, you're sorry? Y you just looked at my tits. You, you did. You stared right at them. Oh, shit. <laughs> I, I don't know what to do. <laughs> Seriously, my uterus is on fire, dude. What? Is that uh, descriptive enough? I don't want to know about. En fuego utero, Skip. En fuego utero. I don't. I don't know what to say. I'm so sorry. Matthews. <laughs> I'm here. I've gotten reports of an unknown vehicle in the parking lot. <sighs> Thank God. Oh, I'm on it. I won't tell Wells. Do what you have to do, okay? I won't tell anyone. <laughs> what do you want, Frank? How's it going? Have you found it yet? Chill out, man. It's been like five minutes. It's been 20. Okay, okay. I'm on it. Hurry up. Thanks, Frank. Minecraft reference, oh my god. En Fuego Utero sounds like a cool band name. Um, On Fire Uterus? <laughs> Let her through. <laughs> He's just walking away from the situation. Alright. So he just watched it. I thought he was going to unlock it for us. But it turns out taking the keys wasn't a bad idea. We still needed them, apparently, so. And left them there. That feels like a bad idea, but okay. Why not? Sounds better in Latin. <laughs> All right. Which one is Drew's room? That's fair. Fire weather. Arcadia Bay, Forest Watch, Oregon, 4.51 p.m. Culmination State Park fire now 50% contained. Additional road closures, check local media. So they are getting it contained. That's good. Thou shalt not pass. All right, this is probably the opposite, actually, of the girls' dorm. So I'm guessing there should be a schedule, or a schedule. Um, some sort of chart with all the names of people. Or I could just be horribly wrong. Map, here we go. I walked right by it. Doubt I'll ever see my name on one of these. Too many chances to screw up before senior year. Warren is here? 
Elliot, he's the one that has the open door. Uh, Justin, Hayden, Zach, Trevor, Drew, 110. Okay. Oh, why do I feel like having... No, we're not going to worry about it. Ah... Uh... Talking about taking a piss, BRB. Okay. Is he in there? I don't see him. I feel like getting him involved will be a good idea, so screw it. Let's just go. 110. Knock. Open. Why don't these doors lock? Like seriously. <laughs> Good. Drew's not here. Okay. If I were Drew, where would I hide my money? Bet the dinner choices are steak or steak. Blackwell Varsity Awards dinner. Okay. Must be nosy. Holy shit, Drew. A college scholarship? No wonder you're so into football. Nice. Uh, what's the sticky note say? Oh, man. Looks like Drew's dad is having a hard time. Oh no, don't do that. Is the money in there? Go Beavers. <laughs> oh, right. Guess I have to crack a four digit code. All right, this better not be the answer. I'm gonna check if it's 0909. It's the dumbest thing I could try. Damn it. Good. Wrong numbers. Um, <laughs> they look so happy. They actually do. Comic books. I don't like the look of this dude. The myth of Leth? The slaughter maze of Durgarin. Bad guys don't usually look so obvious, but this is still awesome. Sergeant Blood versus Maniacal. All right. Uh, awesome. Dr. Timebot, the Jurassic Edition. <laughs> oh, no, no. <laughs> I had to try. Like... How stupid would it be if the answer was literally on the wall, though? Like, I would feel stupid not trying it just because it was right there. I already checked that. I already... Just a note. I didn't actually read it. A lot of numbers on here. Would Drew really use something like this for a lock combo? Well, it's only four digits. 12, 11, 491, 12, 12. You thought it might have been two. Literally hiding it out in plain sight. Damn it. Yeah. Wrong numbers. Uh, what are you? Holy shit. I Drew. already read that. A college scholarship? No wonder you're so into football. For the love of the game, 11, 20, 36. Look we at get that. To see about that. More numbers. Not a lot. All right. What was this? Plenty of possible combinations here. Oh, God. Is this going to be the same as... Like, is this going to be like 0403? That's true. Yeah, okay. Waiver and release form. Emergency contact. I understand that there are risks involved with my child children's participation in physical 
Education classes at Blackwell Academy. I hereby authorize the staff and faculty of Blackwell Academy to follow their best judgment in the case of an emergency and accept any medical expenses incurred. Oh, okay. So it's just a standard medical release. Okay. So April 3rd, 1992. Let's see if some combination of that those numbers matter. 0832. If that works, you're going to explain it to me. Damn it. Never mind. Wrong numbers. You're just feeding me false information, Skip. <laughs> okay. Four, four, three. Damn it. Okay. Wrong Let's numbers. Try it this way. Might actually need some help with this one. Oh, she just gives up. Oh, the brother. One, two, two, seven. Uh, worth a so shot. So if you don't get it after a while, the game just makes you get it. <laughs> yes. To move the story along. Wow. This is kind of fun. Oh. Did little Drew beat you up, too? It was the pa uh, past four of that for now. Oh, okay. Jackpot. I'm kind of good at this. You're gonna get caught. Okay. Yeah, I feel like we're gonna get caught too. Money. Time to bust out of Hey, Mikey. <laughs> Chloe? What are you doing here? Looking for Drew. I was <laughs> looking for your brother, but uh, he's not here, so. Why? Bro, we gotta go. Yesterday wasn't enough? You wanna go another round? Doesn't matter. Mikey, get your stuff, let's move. Drew, relax. Who is this? Shit! You're making me think you're nervous about something. What's going on? Drew, what's going on? Don't worry about it. Stay in here and don't say anything, little brother. Whatever you do, don't open the door. You know what's going on? Damon, you shouldn't have come here. Oh. Who's well, not the place for this? Really? Where is the place to collect my fucking money? Shit. I told you, I don't have it. Sales are down, man. Nobody wants to get high right now. But look, it's spring season. We just started two a days. Those are gonna kill us. I'll be able to sell all the oxy you've got. Drew, you owe me a grand. Where is it? I said I don't have it right now. I heard about your dad's job, by the way. Tough times. Yeah. Bet a grand would mean a lot to him right now. Where's my money, Drew? I don't know what you expect me to do. I can't just make money appear out of thin air. Oh, I want my fucking money! You don't have to hit me, man. I'm gonna... Uh, Where is it? Uh, Please! Just give me one week. Uh, You're just going to lie there? I thought football players were supposed to be tough. Stop it, Mikey. Do this, kid. No one steals from me. No one. The obvious Fuck. Fuck. decision here. Yep. Yeah. And we're going to give that a minute. <laughs> um, I'm baked. Backed. That doesn't sound good. No, it doesn't. Feel like he'll lose that scholarship uh, if we don't stop that beatdown. Yeah, I know. I mean, he's obviously hoarding the cash for his dad, but he's going to ruin his life in the long term. Damn, Daniel. <laughs> Be 
I gotta stop. Stop! It's okay. I, I, I've got your money. Ah, I didn't realize we had an audience. Hey, Mikey. Okay. Who the hell are you? Uh, Frank sent me to collect. That's what Frank was going on about? Let's see the cash. We need that! Why did you just it's do that? Here. Mikey, you need to help your big brother. Help him understand that I take this shit seriously. Come on. Mikey's got nothing to do with this, man. You help your brother understand that if he steals from me again, I'm coming back here and I'm going to break his knees. Thanks, kid. Tell Frank I owe him one. We needed that money. You just screwed us over. Are you crazy? That guy could have killed you. You don't yeah. know anything about this situation. It's none of your business. Both of these are terrible responses. Give the money, yeah. Give money to Mickey Mouse and run to Disney. No. <laughs> Let's laugh. I should not laugh at that. I know, like... I mean, obviously he hurt his hand falling backwards from the slap, but like it didn't seem that bad to knock him down. I thought, like, and you know what? If he hadn't have said anything, yeah. Anyways, I guess both options were going to be terrible. Either Drew was going to get the living crap beaten out of him, uh, and then Mikey was going to hate us forever, or we give him the money. Mikey now has a sprained wrist and he's still going to hate us forever. So, I mean, their father is at a shelter. It's not like he doesn't have any help at all. Um, it shouldn't be up to the kids to try to figure out how to get him cash anyways. Especially not like this. So, um, yeah, these are both b bad responses. They're not going to react well to either one of these. I was trying to help. I was trying to help. Damon wasn't going to stop until he had that money. You think you're some kind of hero? Stepping in for poor Nathan Prescott? And now you're messing with our lives? Uh, Mikey, uh, I gotta look at your arm. Uh, Just leave us alone. Uh, 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 Saying I'm sorry isn't gonna do anything. Well, be okay. At least Mikey's trying to be mature about it. Her girl hurt his wrist. Oh my god. He does a look, look a little bit like him, doesn't he? The hurts sit there forever now. Honestly, the sprained wrist is the better solution. Yeah. Well, I mean, otherwise Drew would have gotten the crap eat out of him. See, I don't know. Was there a snap when he landed on his hand? Like, he didn't break his hand, like, his wrist or anything, did he? Kick their ass instead. Yeah, but we would have gotten destroyed. Chloe is, like, 100 pounds soaking wet. <laughs> I don't think so. Okay, so I hope. I mean, either way, it's still. It's the only thing is it affects Mikey and not Drew. Drew is obviously better able to take the hits, but he would have taken a lot more hits. I think both outcomes would have sucked. I don't think there really is a better option. <laughs> I guess that one was the the lesser of two evils. What are we doing here, Chloe? Why are you walking with such swagger? 
Is that Hayden? Oh God, are we gonna have the opportunity to make Victoria look like a fool? This day has been so messed up. And that's before having to watch Victoria butcher Rachel's role. At least I can be here for Rachel. <laughs> if I can find her. I hope so. <laughs> Chloe and Steph, I'm on my way to the hospital. It was broken. Mikey's arm is broken. Drew told me a little bit about what happened. Shit, I didn't know it was that bad. Situation's so fucked up. Let me know if there's any way I can help. Thanks, I will. And of course, Steph's gonna find out that Chloe had something to do with it, and then Steph's gonna hate us. And then Chloe will have that much more reason to be angry at everybody. Who are you? Oh, hi, Dana. Hey, Dana. Did Doug dig David's garden? Or did David dig Doug's? Did Doug dig How David's garden? How <laughs> did, did Doug dig David's garden? Practicing uh, tongue twisters. To enter tent. From the schedule, swim poster, drug poster, divider. RA will suck as Prospera. If VC had any talent, maybe she would have gotten the part. Talent? Is that what got Mr. K to cast you, Slut? Guess they don't call it drama for nothing. Keep talking to Dana, David all right. Garden, or did David dig dug? Betty bought a bit of butter, but she found the butter bitter. Betty bought a bit Sucks of Sucks for butter. Betty. <laughs> Betty bought a clueless, klutzy Chloe, clumsily crowded, careful creatives. Clueless, klutzy Wait a second. Chloe. <laughs> clueless, klutzy Chloe, clumsily crowded, careful creatives. Looks like Victoria has finally pushed Dana over the edge. Crap, I wasn't paying close enough attention. I feel like that was a hint of um, how to deal with something. I should find Rachel. Uh, crap. To Doug. Okay, I'm not going to try to read that. <laughs> Is that Victonica over there? That's us, Samantha. Hey, Samantha. Shh. Nathan, please. I oh, it's Nathan. Do it, Dad. I'm sorry. Keep your voice down. Now listen to me. You don't understand. They all hate me. They're just gonna laugh at me. Why do you suppose that is? I don't know. Because you show weakness, just like you're doing right now. But Dad... When will you learn that this isn't about you and your problems? This is about the Prescott name. Oh, God. My name. I'm sorry. People like this bother you me. You will not embarrass me. Get over yourself. Nathan. Yes. Good. Now. Break a leg. I'll see you after the show. Great pep talk, Mr. P. Everyone knows the best way to instill confidence in someone is by intimidating them. I don't know who you are, but mind your own business. <laughs> I'd love to. Don't you have, like, a private bunker filled with gold coins where you could have these conversations? <laughs> oh, he didn't like that. Nathan. Oh, he's going to yell at us. Fuck! 
or himself. Hey, Nathan's dad is some asshole, huh? I know. I wish he'd just go away and leave him alone. Um, oh my god, I hate these people. Yeah, I know, right? Dad looks like Keith Oberman. Oh my god, he does a little bit, doesn't he? Oh my god, embarrassed dad. What pride they have. I know. It's all about the family name. Private Bunker. Yeah, I know. And a subtle reference to um, the first game, I think, too. Um, because initially that was why they bought that property, I believe, was to, to create a bunker. Nathan's dad sucks. But you should be careful what you wish for when it comes to parents. Oh, Chloe, I wasn't thinking. I'm sorry. For what? You didn't kill my dad. Oh, that's what they're well, talking about. did you? <laughs> <laughs> that was a joke. I know. Your dark sense of humor reminds me a lot of Nathan's. Actually, the two of you are really similar. Uh, what the hell does that mean? I'm serious. You're both artistic and surprisingly sensitive. You've been through a lot, and a lot of people unfairly judge you for it. I think you stood up for Nathan yesterday because you know what he's going through. Nathan's hurt and he needs help. But whenever I try to help him, it always seems to make things worse. If you were Nathan right now, what would you want me to do? Give him space. When I'm super angry, I need to let it all out. The last thing I want is someone trying to calm me down. Case in point, how pissed he was when we tried to help him yesterday. Yeah. If I were you, I'd give him space and wait for him to come to you. <sighs> that actually makes sense. Thanks, Chloe. And we're not going to go in there and completely contradict what we just told her, so... Okay, so Nathan's in there. Rachel? Rachel's not going to be in here. Oh, come on, V. You got this. You got this. Oh, shit, shit, shit. I can't do this. I'm going to ruin the play. She just take drugs with a cup of tea. What are you two doing here? Two. There she is. Or did you forget? You let this loser dropout sabotage you. But really, I should be thanking you. Now I have everything I wanted. And you've got a new friend. So I guess we're both doing great. Now please leave so I can get ready for my performance. Even though I wish I was the one performing tonight, Victoria, I really am happy for you. I hope it's everything you want it to be. We both do. Right, Chloe? Yeah. Yeah, I guess. I mean, even if you are super lame to me all the time, I hope you don't completely suck up there. And even if you do suck, who cares? I mean, let's be real. You're not Rachel. But that's okay, because you're Victoria Chase. You know? Even if you suck. <sighs> oh my god. Thank you. She actually... Oh, that's exactly what I needed to hear. Got some use out of uh, all that? Okay. <laughs> cool. Tea? <sighs> For your Should've made her quit. We want you at your best tonight. Rachel's got a plan here. I'm guessing there's like laxative or something in the tea. Look at how smug she looks. Okay, V. Time to shine. Oh, Price, that was epic. You distracted her just yeah. long enough See? for me to slip those pills into her teeth. 
Hey, dude. Oh, hey. Uh, that's mine. The gloomiest shirt of the bunch. How did I know you were gonna pick that one? <laughs> I guess Prospera knows all. Oh, okay. I like the design, okay? I didn't I think it was gloomy. I better start getting into costume before the... Sweet party. We're ruined. The show is ruined. That was quick. It's not poison. My dear young artists, a misfortune most unkind has befallen us. Juliet is waylaid. That infernal inferno is the culprit, closing down the roads and robbing us of our aerial. Would that she could but manifest on her master's whim as a true spirit. Alas, devoid of an understudy, the situation is a dire one indeed. I'm afraid we may have to cancel. Truly, we are a cursed lot. Even my prodigious imagination cannot conceive of a worse turn of fate. <laughs> I'm sorry, that, that is awfully Touché. cruel. Touche. I shouldn't Keaton, be laughing at that. I could fill in for Victoria? My dear, your visage is as a vessel sent by the heavens to offer passage to my stranded soul. But I'm afraid without our Ariel. All this still oh, don't cast, Chloe. No, Rachel, you stay away from her. What? Stay away from her. Uh, uh, oh, no. Mr. Keaton, no. Chloe could step in for Juliet. No fucking chance. <laughs> At least until the road's clear. <laughs> the cynic. She's the right fit for Juliet's costume. She is indeed. Tell me, my dear, have you ever acted before? She's also Hell not a student no. here. She's being modest. We play improv games all the time. And she's fantastic at it. My dear, what if I told you that the entire fate of the production rests upon your slender shoulders? Yeah, man, please stop talking about I'd eating things. It. You're super fucked. I think you need some chocolate. Chloe, please. For me. Damn it. <laughs> well, we're in a I bird costume. That Rachel's seems fitting. Me into this. So, just to recap, the whole reason why we're at Blackwell in the first place was to go and take money that was owed to Damon for Frank. Somehow has twisted and turned itself around into being involved in a play we know nothing about. At a production in a school that we're not even allowed to be at. <laughs> I'm hungry. I don't have breakfast. For real. Well, maybe an apple or something. You're, you clearly need to consume some sort of edible. <laughs> um, all right. I'm going to screw this up. The last time I had to do anything that was acting related was in The Witcher 3. And that was mediocre. So I predict this will probably go about the same way. Yes, don't ideally eat humans. That's Don't eat pandas either. Not especially, no. All right. I seriously have to memorize all of this? Thanks, Rachel. Oh, no. Oh no. Look at all the yellow guys. <laughs> I'm gonna mess this up so bad. Uh, they really could have broken this up a little better. Ariel, all hail, great master. I come to answer thy best pleasure. I boarded the king's ship in every cabin. See, with games like this, I don't know how much of the line I need to memorize to be able to just say okay. Like, is it going to make me do every single line? Or do I just have to do, like, the beginning of her paragraph and then she'll fill in the rest? Board of the king's ship in every cabin. Not a soul of the king's sub. I, I am not going to remember this. Not a hair perished. Is there more toil? My liberty. 
That's my noble master. I'm not going to cheat. Where's the fun in that? Plus, it might be funny watching her fail miserably. All right. What do you want, Elliot? Chloe, the show is starting. We've got great seats. Where are you? Oh, you'll see. Question marks? Oh, God. What do you want, Frank? I just talked to Damon. Good work. You can meet me tomorrow to pick up your cut. Your friend's an asshole. What matters is he's happy. Whatever. Price. You did the right thing. Honestly, he's right. I feel like that situation would have been a lot worse if I had left it. If I had stayed in the room. Haven't heard from Mom. That's actually surprising. Okay, right here. How's your super long errand going? Yo, crazy shit happened in Drew's room. Like, really bad. Oh, no, are you okay? Do you need to talk about it? Yeah, later. Too many people around now. I'm backstage. Great, I'm on my way. Okay. Or what does it this? feel like Steph is mocking me from afar? See me here, Mr. K, for makeup kits. I saw it. There it is. <laughs> when Get... life gives you lipstick, use it to tag shit. Oh, we're getting options on a regular basis now. Death of tragedy, guys. <clears throat> if you don't get a game over, it's fine. Just don't do bad. You're not going to get a game over from being bad at a play, I would assume. What's the difference? Well, tragedy is something bad happening to you. The loss of a loved one. Death. Death could just actually just be the, um, I don't know, like a Grim Re Reaper. Or, you know, death personified. Tragedy. How is death not tragedy? Are you voting for death? <laughs> All right. One for tragedy, one for death. Skip. You're the only other person here. You're the tiebreaker. Which one? Death. All right. We had it. It's just going to be a giant skull, isn't it? Vanity Fair. Oh. All right. I mean, not what I thought, but I guess it works. Let's let's see if we can actually stand in the right spot here. No, what? No, this is going to take too much time. Um, no, we're not leaving yet. Look. More looking. Ariel. Prospera. Miranda, which is Nathan, right? Time for my big debut. Joy. <laughs> she sounds so thrilled about it. Tiebreaker. <laughs> Was that a Killer Instinct reference, Gamma? <laughs> and then Stream Elements being chatty again. Okay. Here's hoping. Wish me luck, guys. Oh, this is going to be so bad. I've already forgotten everything I quickly read. <laughs> By accident, most strange, bountiful fortune hath mine enemies brought to the shore. Here, cease more questions. Thou art inclined to sleep. Tis a good dullness, and give it way. I know thou canst not choose. Come away, servant. Come. Ah, shit. I'm on. <laughs> You. I am ready now. Get up there. Approach, my Ariel. Come. Damn it. <laughs> no problem. I've got this. I just walk to Rachel, 
and say my line. Uh, all right, to Rachel, speak. <sighs> all hail, great mistress. I, uh, I come to answer thy best pleasure. Most fearless, <laughs> generous spirit. She sounds so Hast good at thou this. Hast performed to point the tempest that I bade thee? Uh, I boarded the king's ship. I boarded the king's ship. In every cabin, I flamed amazement. The fire and cracks of sulfurous roaring, the most mighty Neptune seemed to besiege and make his bold waves uh, tremble. My brave spirit, who was so firm, so constant, that this coil would not infect his reason. Uh, not a soul. The king's son, uh, Ferdinand, was the first man that leaped. Hey, that was not a rip, Skip. How dare you? Cried. Oh no. I don't know. Hell is here. Cried. Hell is here. And all the devils are here. Uh, because nope. that was not the correct one. <laughs> Close, Close enough. enough. <laughs> but are they, Ariel, safe? All right. I guess this is when I'm supposed to walk somewhere. I don't remember reading this. Um, shipwreck. I'm. Definitely supposed to do something with this. Chloe, stand here. Okay. Point. Not a hair perished. And uh, as thou baddest me, I have dispersed them about the aisle. In groups. In gr groups. <laughs> What's Juliet ETA? Ariel, thy charge exactly is performed. But there's more work. More toil? Is there more toil? Let me remember thee what thou hast promised. How now? What is't thou canst demand? Liberty! I remember that one. My liberty. Indeed. <laughs> Thy liberty? Nay, this most of all I will not grant. Th that's not her line, is it? What's going on? Uh... Say nothing. Let her die. I never said how dearly I hold thee. My habit's been to keep my soul well draped. Most loyal spirit, companion, and friend. She improvising? Is acting in my service not replete with Excitement, amusement, and delight? Of course, mistress. Most truly, it is so. Mr. Key, they're way off script. It's magical. <laughs> He's rolling with then it. why, I pray you, wish you to be free? Uh... Excitement isn't happiness. Excitement's... A mere counterfeit of bliss. These storms and these adventures. I prefer to know thou still cared for my plainest self. I have thee in my grasp. I will not bend. I will not see thee flying forth alone. The envy would be more than I could bear. So come with me. Let's so roll with it. So come with me. Is that not in thy power? Spirit, take my hands. Most faithful friend. For but a little longer, I beseech. Continue in thy service to my schemes. And when they are complete, I swear to thee, we shall fly beyond this isle. The corners of the world are mere prologue. I'll seek... To make thy happiness so great that e'en the name of liberty is forgot. 
What sayest thou to my most hopeful wish? <laughs> yes, I am most. Oh, pleased. we don't even get to choose. Your duty done for now, so go forth hence with haste. I've work to do. She's not Thanks, dying out there, Skip. Well done. An admirable effort. And the ending, absolutely transformative. I am humbled. <laughs> no problem. What the hell just happened? <laughs> Was that real? She's so confused. Shake it off. Come on. We'll visit Caliban, my slave. Tis a villain, sir. I do not love to look on. He does make our fire, fetch in our wood. What ho! Slave! Caliban! Come forth, I say! On! Oh, God. Uh, mm. As wicked do, as e'er my mother brushed. Thou poisonous slave, got by the devil himself, filth as thou art, I have lodged thee in mine own cell. Till thou didst seek to violate the honor of my child. Shit. He's crying. Fetch us in fuel and be quick. So, slave, hence. He's choking. Fuck you. No. Okay, that could have gone a lot worse, actually. Where should this music be? In the air? Or the earth? Oh, thank God. <laughs> this play is super intense. What is it? A spirit? It carries a brave form, but it is a spirit. No wench. It eats and sleeps and Don't has called such senses wench. we have. I will resist such entertainment. Put thy sword up, traitor. Do you love me? Oh heaven, oh earth, bear witness to this sound. I beyond all limit of what else in the world do love, prize, honor you. His tears run down his beard like winter's drops from eaves of reeds. Go release them, Ariel. My charms I'll break. Their senses I'll restore. And they shall be themselves. Now my charms are all overthrown. And what strength I have's mine own. Pray, release me from my bands. With the help of your good hands. Oh, Nathan came back out. I guess he got over whatever stage fright he had. He has to take a bow. Rachel, what are you doing? Wasn't that fun? You're so dead. Yeah? How dead? Hella dead. <laughs> oh, God, so awkward. Well, we, we got the cheers, so we didn't screw it up. Oh, God. Why does she keep coming back? Who are you?
Hello. <laughs> okay. So that uh, was about as intense as I expected it to be. <laughs> oh my god, Keaton's face behind you when you walked on stage? <laughs> I was shitting myself. In the dead of night, I'll make you in my sleep. <laughs> he was shitting himself. <laughs> that dude owes me. In the morning light, you wake up next to me. Where are we right now? I can dream come true. I'll take you where I roam. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> In Hellaville, really? <laughs> My dear, what if I told you that the entire fate of our production rests upon your surrender shoulders? <laughs> yeah, he was very dramatic, eh? I've never had an experience like that on stage. Yeah, right? You know, you, like, seriously. I love nights after a show. <laughs> Is it always like this? Oh, totally. It's such a high. No more nerves, just the adrenaline. So, first timer, are you proud of yourself? I'm actually more relieved. <laughs> I think I'm just happy it's over. The last 12 hours have been freaking intense. <sighs> You've gone through so much shit today. Right now is pretty good. Okay, the, the whole show was good. I admit it. Yeah. <laughs> it was magical. Uh, silly. So, what do you think? Should I run away to be an actress? Let's leave. For real. For real, huh? You said you wanted to skip town and never look back. Like I said last night, let's do it. <laughs> I know. I've been thinking about that all day. But that was... Don't Sorry, that was very awkward laughing there. <laughs> you mean it. I can tell. You want this. Yeah, but... Like, eventually. Let's go now. Didn't we already agree on stage? We can't just... <laughs> Why not? Money? What about money? I thought you were a high-rolling criminal now. Done with that. Nah, I didn't like being a criminal as much as I thought. You're more of a hero than I think you realize. I think you're high right now. I'm a, a no hero. We'll see. Anyway, I've got more than enough to start us out. I always get birthday money from my dad. Or should I say, hush money. Uh. Any more questions? Uh, parents? I know our parents have been shitty, but we can't just leave them that doesn't sound like chloe price uh. Uh. Oh, yeah your mom wouldn't it hurt your mom she doesn't deserve that right I don't deserve to live in the middle of my parents' mistakes. Right. Of course you don't. Middle of nowhere? How far could we possibly get without a car? I thought you were fixing that truck in the junkyard. I was just seeing if I could. Well, can you or can't you? Definitely. Yeah. I can. In other words, we've got transportation covered. <laughs> well, not yet we don't. 
how you fucked up your persona. Chloe's not herself when she's around Rachel. Okay, fine, you win. Fine then, drama queen. Where are we going? <laughs> you tell me. What uniquely twisted location does Chloe Price plus Rachel Amber equal? Hmm. <laughs> New York. Hell. New York City. Obviously. 3 a.m., you and me outside some cafe on St. Mark's, shoving pizza in our mouths and shouting Broadway songs with 10 people we just met. <laughs> Love this time of night. <laughs> Don't you just feel like everything's possible? <laughs> Rachel, stop. If you don't mean this, it's it's just making me feel like shit that this life you're describing isn't going to happen. For fuck's sake! I've never been more serious in my life. <laughs> Chloe, what would it take to convince you? Why would a tattoo do it? She's gonna get tatted up anyways. The bracelet is the big thing that was important in the first game. She's me. Well, at least that means you can relate to her. Chloe is a butthead, and yet yeah, Rachel is somehow the bad influence. <laughs> well, Rachel's kind of snapped. Like, not in the severe sense, but, like, she's reaching, like, a fork in the road. And she's not really going down a good path. Bracelet. Give me something I can hold. Something solid that'll remind me what you promised. Okay, like what? How about your bracelet? This bracelet? Yeah. I haven't taken it off, ever. My dad said I wore it home from the hospital, if you can believe that. I don't know why, but it's always reminded me that the world is a lot bigger than Arcadia Bay. Sounds like the perfect gift, don't you think? You're asking for a lot, Chloe Price. I'll give it back when we actually leave. You dork. I was joking. Of course. Of course I'm gonna give it to you. <sighs> okay, I need your help untying this. Why do I feel like something's gonna come out of like nowhere and just like tragedy? I will leave you a little more now. Only a little, huh? <laughs> what We're gonna do I both, aren't we? Leave tonight. Really? What is this? Is it supposed to be snow? It's obviously a sign. So? What do you say? Let's go sneak some clothes and stuff from my house. For you or for me? I gotta say, my clothes look damn good on you. Cool. Let's do it. And then, we'll get the hell out of Arcadia Bay. Fuck yes. So these two have known each other over the course of two days, basically. You guys elect your district of tuners?
Didn't know that was a thing. Look out, here comes a famous photographer. <laughs> what? Are you talking about um, Jefferson, maybe? Oh, it's too early for that. Actually, I think he'd only been missing for a few weeks in the first game, which takes place like two years after this. So, you said something was going to... No, I know. Is that what you mean, though, Jefferson? We're totally going to bung this up. Oh, you're home. Never mind. It already happened. We Rose, didn't have to do anything. Rachel's home. And she um, brought her new friend. Try not to sound so happy about it. Our surprise star returns. You're just in time. Dinner's almost ready. Chloe, was it? It is. Nailed it. I must have been pretty memorable. You were. I get the sense that you're used to making an impression. Rachel, honey, you were resplendent tonight. Thanks. Chloe, you must join us for dinner tonight. Uh, she must? I must? Of course. <laughs> I made chicken a la king. I'm sure you both acted up quite the appetite. I was just leaving. Thanks. But I, I was just going to stop in for a sec and then bounce. Oh, did you have other dinner plans? Dinner plans? <laughs> I always thought dinner was something that just sort of happens. Chloe, I know we didn't exactly meet each other at our best this morning, but with you and Rachel becoming such fast friends, I insist you join us for dinner. Don't you agree, Rachel? Yes, of course, Chloe. Would you join us for dinner, please? Uh, of course. Great. I just need to wash off. Again, we lack the option to do anything, right? Don't be long. In meantime, perhaps you can help me with the table, Chloe? Sure thing, Mrs. Amber. Okay, I'm gonna go pack. After dinner, we can make our break. You cool down here? Totally. Totally. Your parents love me. They're good <laughs> at coming off that way, but don't let your guard down. And Chloe, we just need to make it through dinner. Try not to say anything that, you know, that I would normally say. Exactly. Just some quality time with the Ambers. What could possibly go wrong? What could possibly go wrong? All right, stuff's going to give us an update, I'm guessing. I heard you were in the Tempest. Yeah, it was kind of a big deal. I believe it. Everyone says the show was awesome. Ha ha ha. See, Skip, your rip was premature. The show was awesome. You get two medal you get medals for two good deeds today, too. What was the first? Mikey's okay. Drew will text you an update in a bit. Okay, that's good. Oh shit, tell them both I'm pulling for them. Petito, if you were still here, it was definitely the right call. Definitely. Good to know that Mikey's okay. Oh, you are still here. I missed the kiss? Gamma, no one died. Why are you ripping? Um, the kiss didn't happen at any point. There, there wasn't even a prompt for it, so I must not have followed the right path. The rip was for me because I killed myself at how bad the acting was. We're talking about, like... 14 year olds putting on a Shakespearean play. Of course it's going to be bad. <laughs> Remember you chose death. I chose to draw death. <laughs> There's a very big difference. Uh, <laughs> that's an interesting emo there, Matino. <laughs> Alright. Let's go deal with this. Oh, uh, now we're going to learn how great she is. Rachel really was an overachiever before she met me. Glad I nipped that in the bud. Oh, okay. 
Uh, table. Look. Everything about this house is nicer, cleaner, better, and more expensive than mine. Which isn't saying much, but still. Okay. Skip. District attorneys are attorneys that work for the state, basically, right? They actually get elected. I, I'm sorry, I, I'm not terribly familiar with the convoluted system that is the uh, political system in the states. Um, well, I'm shocked the kiss didn't pop up. Oh, yeah, I guess I just didn't follow the right conversational path. You death yourself. I drew it. Yeah, okay. Let me tell you, I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> All right, fair enough. Depending on the state, they are elected. Okay. And they work for the state. You elect attorneys. Okay. That just seems weird to me. Usually it's... It, it... I'll just let it go. I mean, admittedly, I don't know that much about the Canadian one either. Um, as far as I know, you just work for the crown. Like, you don't get elected to it. I've never had to participate in a vote. Um where the provincial attorneys would be a thing. So, every country has their system. I'm guessing, Batito, then that means you're in the state, son? My district attorney works for the county. Yeah, okay. For the county. Texas. Oh, okay. Oh, it's too bad Wendigo's not here. He's from Texas, too. Okay, we're not talking to you. Let's just go. We're, we're going to make this as smooth a transition as possible of being invited to this silly dinner to leaving. Uh, let's talk. Hey there, Mrs. Amber. Chloe, I'm so glad you're joining us tonight. You borrowed that shirt from Rachel. We call it the Rorschach shirt. What do you see? It's a bird. Uh, I guess I see a bird. Interesting. Well, wash it before you bring it back. Um. Uh, oh, sorry, it's still here. Because each state laws are different, and some are just county or state, then you have the big ones who are countrywide. Damn. <laughs> oh, okay. For some reason, I just assumed that somebody called a district attorney would just be at the state level. Um, but yeah, counties are pretty, like, they're, they're small, like, municipalities, right? I thought. I don't know. Uh, setting the table. So, you putting me to work, or what? Yes. If you could please take four plates from the cupboard and set them on the table. Uh, what if I can't? <laughs> Excuse me? You said if I could. Never mind. You're a riot, Chloe. <laughs> I don't right, think she Chloe, likes us anymore. You've set the table without ruining someone's marriage before. Piece of cake. Cupboard. Open. No skeletons. Lots of shiny dishes, though. Take. Oh, it's Drew. It's Nuts. off to the table with you. I just realized who that was. Okay, we could check our phone without. Um, hey, Price, sorry about what I said earlier. You're only trying to help. Okay. No way, I'm sorry, Drew. I had no idea what to do. That was so fucked. It's okay, Mikey's all right, I'm all right. Also, he says thanks. Tell him to say hey, will do. Wow. So Chloe and Drew were on decent terms. <laughs> um, sorry, let me catch up here real quick. In Texas, we vote for an attorney general that works for state and district attorney works for county. Oh, I see, okay. Gamma 
you're, you're becoming a lot more cynical, aren't you? <laughs> Please snitch on the husband. I'm going to avoid that if I can. This is going to be the most mundanely boring dinner as possible. And then we're going to transition on out of there. That's the goal. That's not what's going to happen. Where I have is normal size, but in growing up in Vegas, it was a bigger area. That doesn't surprise me because there's not a lot of like urban areas in Nevada, right? Like, like the populations are all concentrated in very specific points, right? It's not as, I, I don't know how to word it without sounding like an idiot. <laughs> I think I know what you mean though. That choice worked out. Yes, it worked out a lot, even better than I was expecting, to be honest. Do it, snitch. Gamma is snickering to himself, so I'm guessing that means he is indeed becoming more and more cynical. Um, if there was an urban, if there was urban, they would tag on the other nearest town or city. Oh, okay. I'll concentrate your population. I'll populate your concentration. <laughs> All right. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Damn it, foiled again. <laughs> Why is there a new... We unlocked something? I can't believe Mom actually finally texted us. Uh, where are we? Here we go. Chloe, Justin Williams' mom just called me. Were you in the play tonight? I would have liked to see that. Kind of just happened. I know it was last minute. I'm glad you're doing well. It would be nice to see you tonight. Are you coming home? Please, Chloe, I miss you. Uh. All right, Rose. What's next? Yes, Chloe? What's next? Plates? Check. Anything else? Actually, could you be a dear and ask Mr. Amber what he'd like to drink with dinner? I will be a dear. Talk Just to you, sure, James. As long as I can avoid using the words cheating and scumbag, I should be fine. She's, the first words out of her mouth are going to be cheating scumbag, aren't, aren't they? Um, you panda, that was disgusting. I like it. <laughs> right back. All right, Batita. Uh, just revolting more, please. That much I know about Star Trek. I don't know really much about Star Trek at all, so I can't help there. Um, wrong deer. <laughs> oh, we're climbing. Okay. Don't say it. Hiya, Mr. Amber. Good job. Chloe. What can I do for you? Drink. What's your vice, Mr. Amber? That is not what I'm I said sorry? you should ask. Your wife wants to know what kind of drink you're having. <laughs> ah, let's say sherry. Okay. I love the enunciation. One, two, three, sherry. Comical. Chloe, maybe you can help me understand something. I'll give it a shot. Rose and I, we're worried about Rachel. Yesterday was so unlike her. What do you suppose is going on? Maybe you should talk to her. Besides me? Besides all my bad behavior rubbing off on her, you mean? Hmm. Another joke. You tell me. It seemed like you and Wells were happy to believe that this morning. Rachel is her own person. She's responsible for her actions. I'd be lying if I said I didn't have concerns about your friendship, but perhaps you're exactly who Rachel needs right now as she navigates the choppy waters of adolescence. Yeah, no, that's definitely not correct. Uh, thanks. All right. Sherry. 
staying on long. I'm going to try to get through the dinner section. Hopefully that'll wrap up the chapter. So, hopefully no more than long, not much longer than a half an hour. That's, that's kind of where I'm thinking. I'll dinner your section, really, Skip? <laughs> I was gonna say, <laughs> you you typed that out before you really thought about Time it, didn't to you? Report back to Rose. All right, let's talk to her. Yes, Chloe. Uh, Sherry. The boss man would like a Sherry. Thank you. The glasses are in the china cabinet. You can place one at his setting. How am I supposed to get to China? Oh, please stop. Kidding. <laughs> it's the fancy-looking cabinet, right? You got it. Chloe, just, just be a normal human being for a little while, please. What does that say? The more things you learn to like, the happier you will be. I'll watch your stream. Wait, that's actually good. <laughs> yeah, that, that actually made sense, Gamma. <laughs> All right, open. Chloe, oh my God. Yeah, I feel like she's trying too hard. Glasses. Damn. The ambers are fancy as shit. Do I have to pick the glass? Take a glass. Uh... It's the triangle-shaped one. Basic shapes. <laughs> now you're speaking my language. I thought I was just gonna have to grab one. Alright, that worked. Gamma, get some food. Dear God. Uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> okay. That's unusual. Do you guys have your beverages to the left of your plate? Let's scratch your hair. <laughs> Counter joke, yes. Life is yes, strange. Chloe? Uh, more. What else? <laughs> Feel like I'm getting good at this. Only one last step. As our guest, you may do the honor of lighting the candles. The lighter is in the- It's cool. I've got my own. Oh. You never know when you'll need to light a candle. Right? You are a paragon of preparedness. Thanks. I, I think. Yeah, her opinion is slowly. Light some candles and bust this joint up a bit. Oh crap! Where does she say to get the candles? My cat wandered by and he distracted me. I didn't notice where I had to go. <gasps> oh, can't. Okay, they're already here. The Amber family and fire. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> oh, the most awkward dinner ever. Yeah, we'll catch up here real quick. But when I... On PC... Oh, God. Things are happening. Um, hey, Nikki! Coming in with the ray, thank you. How are you this evening? That's why Windigo was asking me how long I was going to stream. I see. You guys are sneaky. Uh, Skip, do you mind? You already are on it, thank you. Last thing, of course, that's Screwed Odyssey. How was that? Hi. <laughs> and hello, Raiders. How are you this evening? Uh, let me catch up here real quick. Um, when I'm on PC like now with the monitor, I put my drink on the right because there's space there. Run table monitor. Well, you were just being logical. That makes sense. Uh, I'm pretty sure Jesus had the most awkward dinner ever. Probably. <laughs> okay, we're all kind of there. 
So how'd it go tonight, Nikki? Did you assassinate all the correct people? Okay, I think I got a lot done. But I'm not sure if I'm close to being done. <laughs> That's the problem with games like that. It's hard to assess just how close you are to the end, so... I, actually, has Wendigo finished it? Because I know he's played through it. He streamed it in the past before he started over again. Sure, we can see that. <laughs> Am I reading that right? It's almost 11 o'clock. So, Chloe, are you and Rachel in any of the same classes? I wish. I wish. Rachel's all honors. I'm still trying to get into remedial... What's it called? Vocabulary. What about that fire? <laughs> <clears throat> Dinner's really good, Mom. Thank you, Rachel. <laughs> the way the fire spreads so fast, I've never heard of anything like it. Um, uh, scary. Yeah, it's scary. After those floods upstate, I was overjoyed we had less rain this year. Who knew a spring drought could be even more dangerous? You never know where a deadly spark will come from. It's certainly troubling. The latest report from the commissioner's office suggests arson. Arson? Why would anyone do that? Any number of reasons. With everything going on in the world today, even a town like Arcadia Bay isn't immune to the ills of society. Don't provoke her. I cannot imagine how difficult these last few years have been for you, Chloe. Now that you and Rachel have become friends, I want you to know that our home is always open to you. Cool. Thanks. Well said, dear. It's imperative in Rachel such troubled looks times as these that we brooding. remember what is most important to us. Family. Family's not merely a gift. Rachel. It is a responsibility. As such, those we love must be cared for and never, ever taken for granted. Calm, Rachel. Uh, yeah, that's super true. Uh, and also remember, Rachel, that even when shit's like the lamest ever, you can always run away from whatever's bothering you. As long as you just keep calm. An interesting philosophy, Chloe. Yes, indeed. Not one that I would endorse, however. I favor confronting my problems head on. But to each their own, I suppose. Oh, fucking blow me. <laughs> Rachel! <laughs> okay. <laughs> On that note, let's catch up. <laughs> uh, I was not prepared for her to say that. <laughs> uh, it is 11.14 p.m. my time. That's right, I, I keep forgetting you are an hour behind me. Uh, yeah, I, I told you, fire is going to be a recurring theme throughout this game, obviously. I haven't finished it before. I know that she's at the end of the game or close to it only because of how the NPCs are reacting to the, in the dialogue. Oh, okay. Do you think Batman can be a comedian? Oh, God, yes. I need Link deleted more viewers for Path the Partner. <laughs> um, more viewers. I'm guessing you gave numbers in a decimal form. I just need a little bit more. <laughs> But, you know, I love that emo. That's so cute. She told her dad to blow her. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Completely caught me off guard. Oh, God. All right. Do we explain or do we distract? I'm going to explain. Let's see how Chloe deals with this. Oh, it doesn't delete it on the PlayStation chat. Yeah, I'm going to explain it, Skip. She's going, to, she's going to explain it, but she's not going to tell the truth, I don't think. Uh, that's just a little inside joke we have together. 
Yeah. No, you blow me, Rachel. Chloe, stop. I can't sit here and listen to this bullshit anymore. Rachel! Stop it, Dad. You're a hypocrite, okay? I know. You lying, cheating piece of shit, motherfucker. Excuse me? We saw you yesterday at the Overlook. James? Kissing that woman. James. Rachel, honey, whatever you saw or think you saw, I know it's hard, but I need you to trust me. Think we saw? Think we saw? Are you trying to gaslight us? There's no thinking involved. We saw you locking lips with some other woman. That's enough. You are not welcome here or around my daughter any longer. I know exactly what kind of person you are from the moment I saw you. And I let my wife's compassion get the better of you. Oh? What kind of person is a that? A delinquent. A broken girl from a broken home. That's enough, James. I will not have you continue to speak to Uh-oh. Amber's gonna snap. Sorry, Rachel. The house is gonna get set on fire. Rachel. Why can't you just tell me the fucking truth? Stop lying. Okay, no fire. Stop being a politician for one fucking minute. Can't you just be my dad? Rachel, that woman you saw, that wasn't my mistress. That was your mother. What? Okay, it looks like we've reached the end. Drew, why do you look so freaked out? I thought you said he was okay. Steph, I'm so glad you're there with him. Papa do! I love seeing him in puppy form. It's so cute. Why does Frank look stressed? Chloe's crossed off. Drew's crossed off. Jackson's all that's left. Oh, it's Victonica. Oh, she ain't happy. All right, guys, let's... Oh, Wonder, that's two episodes down. So one more for the main story, and then there's a bonus episode that shows 
Chloe and Max before Max moves to Seattle. So that would be the final stream for this game. While the credits roll, I'm going to catch up because I'm so far behind. Um, where did we go? Stream elements, no one cares. Gam has posted deleted links again. Explain, yep, like 76 more. 76 more to get the partner? Yeah, um, Nikki, the average that you need is 75. So if you need 76 more, that means you're in the negative viewership, which is kind of impossible. So I think your average is probably better than you think. Um, basically that for short. And uh, yes, when to go? Um, MH lit. I don't know what that means. It's litty. What? <laughs> oh, probably for the end there. Okay. Um, and that glass shattered. I expected Stone Cold Steve Austin to appear. <laughs> oh, God. I'm glad that did not happen. I'm sorry, what? Oh shit, <laughs> parenting gone wrong. Is it a past your bedtime? It's always past my bedtime. Skip, I, I've told you before, if you're tired, you don't have to stay here the whole time. I appreciate that you're here, don't get me wrong, but you're not, I'm not holding you against your will. <laughs> Go get some sleep if you need it. Although I do appreciate you moderating the hooligans. <laughs> as, as you so put it. Uh, stream elements again. Nikki with over 24,000 cookies. Oh my god. That's what I tell Nikki every day. I tell her that I'm hibernating for winter. <laughs> she gets all mad and says that I'm lazy, but in reality, I'm just a big cuddly bear. Aw. Except you're a Wendigo. You can't really call Wendigos cuddly bears. That's, that's, sorry. That's literally the exact opposite. <laughs> all you do is sleep, but that will all change when your school starts. That just means he's going to be enjoying the next... You start, on the, you start on the fourth, you said, right? So I guess it would be a week. So you have the next week to just enjoy being free. What is the fire? Um, the fire was started at the end of the first episode of this game. Um, basically, Rachel burned a picture from her childhood of her father and her, threw it in the trash bin. She freaked out, kicked the trash bin over, caught the grass on fire, which ended up spreading quickly to the tree. And she screamed at the tree. Some weird swirlies happen, which makes me think she has some sort of power, but that's not confirmed yet. And the, the tree, the fire started spreading from that tree and very quickly started spreading to others. And now it's been this natural disaster that they've been fighting off for the entirety of the second episode here. And they're slowly containing it according to the alerts that I've been getting in my phone. Skip's Mac mixtape. After the storm next episode. I think the storm is referring to the first game. So this entire story arc is before the storm. My mixtape is the hotness. <laughs> um my viewers. Yeah, no, that's what I that, yeah, viewers. I got like 3.45. I like how you spelled out the word points. Um, okay, so you would need a little over 71. You need about 71 and a half more average viewers. I got zero viewers. I keep trying, Gamma. You'll get more. Uh, if you post in the Discord server, um, you might get some people that are able to jump in during the day can't hurt. I recorded a rap song like a year ago. Just paired or something just for fun. Oh, verse. Just a verse. Oh, okay. I can see it. 
I mean, you did some beatboxing a few weeks ago, I want to say. And I, I don't remember when that was. I think you got skills. I think you could do more than just a verse. A big murderous Wendigo. Yes, exactly. Such beans. Get some food, Gamma. <laughs> oh, Dan, does she know she started it? Oh, yes. She most definitely knows that she started it. <laughs> I don't want more. Oh, all right. Well, if you're happy with where you're at, then who am I to second guess that? Okay. Sorry for being so far behind, guys. Thank you for hanging out. Um, let's check this out because I always forget how long the credits are. Uh, you went along with Rachel's story. I was with the minority on that one. You emptied your pockets at David's request. But well, we had to tell him off, right? 62, yeah, sounds about right. You gave Damon the money. I'm in the minority with that. That surprises me, actually. Oh, there's the kiss Petito was talking about. You asked Rachel to give you her... That... Uh, oh, I know why. In the first episode, I told her friendship and not more than friends. So that must have locked off the kiss option. So does that lock them as friends for the entirety of this game then? Just with that one decision? That's weird. Okay, well, now I know. Have a good day, Panda. Thank you, Siren, for being here. Uh, you were here the whole night. I'm actually kind of surprised. Um, thank you for that. Uh, have a good night. Same to you, Skip. I'm going off. See you guys. Night, Skip. Night. I'm all broken now. <laughs> I'm sorry, Petito. I thought... I didn't think it would be a permanent decision. Like, I thought, you know, if I said that, yeah, it's going to be something more, it would just rush things along further. It might do more harm than good. You start off as friends, and then you slowly get there. It was, yeah. Oh, oh well. Because <laughs> oh, you replied silly instead of sweet, too. Yeah, yeah, I guess. And later tomorrow, Jack... But oh, it's Friday. Yes. I will definitely try to be there, Siren. What what time do you start streaming on Fridays? It's usually kind of later in the evenings, correct? Right before where the kiss would have happened you chose the just friend option of silly reply yeah i guess maybe that's what it was yeah if i maybe if it was say something sweet that might have opened it up stream elements just stop <laughs> about 7 or seven thirty. my time i don't remember if we share the same uh, time zone or not <laughs> windigo that quote doesn't exist anymore mine Okay, it is 12.31 my time right now. I'm an hour behind. Okay, so it'll be 8, 8.30 for me then. Pretend command. Beep, boop, beep. You made the bot do things. <laughs> I like that. That's awesome. All right, guys, I'm going to wrap it up here. Uh, oh, wait, wait. We got one more. We got the end credits scene for previewing the next one. Let's see what it is. Shit. Shit. What? What was... <laughs> no, we're not starting. Whoa. So the title screen at the beginning of the episode was the forest on fire. This looks like post-apocalyptic here. did a fantastic job with the art in this game all right thank you everyone for being here thank you for all the people quietly watching or lurking what's the time difference from one and now i'm sorry
Like, right now it's 12.33 for me, so I'm assuming it's just half past 11 for you, right? Your CST? I meant in game. Oh! <laughs> I thought you were still talking time zones. Now it makes more sense. Sorry. Um, this is a prequel. So this game takes place in 2010, uh, May. And um, The First Life is Strange takes place in October of 2013. So it's a little over three years difference. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I it's 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 late. And you know me, I can't comprehend English well. Okay, thank thank you guys for being here. Right, because you said Max leaves, right? Yeah, she's already left at this point. She left in uh 2008. Late 2008, sometime around there. Um so she's been gone for about a year and a half at this point. And then comes back in 2013. Yeah, exactly. So we, we'll explore that in the fourth episode. Um, actually, yeah. The third. So we've done these two right here. This is the next one we'll do next stream. This is the one that we're doing, obviously last, but this will showcase, this is actually Max and Chloe again. Um, and this is before Max moves to Seattle. So this is even further back than the main story we're doing now. Got my timeline. Awesome. Happy to help. <laughs> All right, everyone. Have a good night. Thank you for being here as always. And hopefully I'll see you on Sunday. Take care.